amigas. Amigas, hello, hi everyone. Um, how's everybody doing? How are you doing? No, 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 how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Hello. 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 Hello, Amiga. Oh, you guys, I forgot to put my oh somebody. Monica, do you know my link tree? Francelia, do you know my link tree? Whoever I see post it. Just put like link tree. I don't need like um code amiga. Hello, Tracy. <clears throat> we're just gonna hang out look you guys i'm doing my waist trainer because i gotta get used to wearing these fajas so when i get my my tummy removal <laughs> like i could like get used to it so i'm gonna have to start wearing it like because i get really anxious with like tightness oh, i'm like mm, she's tight <laughs> um hello antoinette hello darla hello kathleen hello everybody hello hello Catherine. hello yudi Hello, everybody. Hold on, let me adjust us right here. We're just adjusting. We're just, we're just, we're just getting a little adjusted, okay? Okay, I'll see. I know. I know. I know. Okay, we're going to put it behind, one behind, one, one from behind, and one from up top. Hello. My hair is a mess. I have to wash it, but I'm letting it get dirty because I want to dye it. My little canitas be caneando. Thank you, friend. <gasps> Thank you, Francelia. You're so sweet. Pin. Pin that bull. Pin her now. Okay, let me throw you. Throw it back. Throw it back. Dang, I missed you. Oh, hello. Hi, everyone. Okay, you guys. Let's get started. We're going to do a little, just a little light makeup. I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually just going to go to bed. I just wanted to hang out with you guys. I've had like a pretty, really stressful day, but... Like, I'm, girl, one thing about me is I'm used to it. Let's do it. <laughs> Stress me out. Okay, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh -huh. She played too. She played knick-knack on my boob. Hello, Desio. Hello, Mari. Hello, Holly. Um, I put my link tree below because if you guys have any questions about my post earlier, the first thing on my link tree is an explanation of what's been happening for the last four months. I don't want to talk about it. Honestly, I'm over it. Like, I just, I made that post because when I don't defend myself, I get mad at myself. So I'm tired. I'd rather be mad at, I would rather like defend myself and feel like better than like letting people like take that power of my own defense. And it, that's just the way it's going to be now. Okay. I love your Hello Kitty thing. My, my, my real life amiga. Sent it to me. Parezco Diabla, pero... Hello. Hello. Hello, it's beautiful life. Hello, my sweet friend. How was dinner? What was for dinner? I actually can't eat. When I'm anxious, like, it upsets my stomach. And mm, I was like, let me tell you, friend. Me and the porcelain god, uh, we're best friends today. Ay, <laughs> pujándole, echándole ganas. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Kristen. Hello, Teresa. Okay, my sweet real life friend, <laughs> real friend, long term friend. Okay, I know toda getting you that, guys. I honestly just put this little Hello Kitty uh, pin in my hair so I feel like cute, but I don't feel cute. My blouse has a yellow back and white. Oop, yellow, black, and white. Your blouse. <gasps> Um, hello. Where is that sweater from? It's from Forever 21. Miriam got it for me like, like a year ago. I'm obsessed. Me too, girl. It's my, my childhood. It's not highlighted. Um, I see it highlighted. Hello, Jacqueline. Thank you for following Jacqueline. Hello. I'm just cleaning my skin. It's been a rough day. If I look rough, because it's been rough. Gosh. They're like Rosie looking a little rough. Well, it's been rough. Oh, you look my 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 love and my my um. Oh, this is love. Ooh, la, la. Okay, so let's get started, guys. Oh, the amiga prize for today, you guys. And honestly, just let's just let's just do it. Let's just do the best we can. Is and whoever gets there first, TT or Facebook. These are my two favorite perfumes. Um. These are from the brand that I work for, or worked for. I, they actually went back to the house, so I had a bunch, and I was like, let's do it. Um, this is Dulce 
uh, Dolce & Gabbana and Lily. It's like a light, it's really pretty. It's like a really light, pretty fragrance. You look, oh, I look beautiful. Son mentirosas, huh? Acá están bien mentirosas. She wants to win the fragrance. And then light, uh, light blue intense. I love light blue intense. Light blue intense smells like clean, like clean, but like fresh, fresh, fresh. So fresh and so clean. So make sure you guys are following. Make sure you guys are following the page as well because FB be unfollowing people left and right. So always check when you jump on if you're still following it. Just make sure you're following the page and then just share. Share. Just share. Um, oh, no, I, honestly, friend, I, I, I'm not in. I'm not in the. I'm not in a position to work out anything with anyone. I'm working shit out with myself. Okay, so ain't nothing working out with anyone but me. I'm working out with myself. I'm forgiving myself. I'm giving myself love, and I'm focusing on myself. I know. I know. Oh yeah, my my late my like lady my fancy lady fragrance is this one. I would maybe maybe this year I'll do one if we hit like a big number in growth. Um, but this is the Baccarat Rouge Five Forty. This is my favorite fragrance, and then my second favorite fragrance is. Do I have it here? Ooh, na na na, ooh la la la. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where is it? Um. Uh, pink sugar mixed with another thing. I like to pink. I like to mix pink sugar because if you don't smell like a cheap, then what else? What else do you smell like? <laughs> uh, pink sugar and I like to mix pink sugar with anything that's floral because then it adds sweet to floral. But I can't find my pink sugar. Oh, <gasps> do you guys want to do a pink sugar too? Oh, I have a pink sugar that I can do. Ah, it's brand new too. Hold on, it's a kit. I have pink sugar as well. So whoever that gets to, let's do 150 over here and 400 over here. Shares over here, taps over here. So um, I have pink sugar, which is one of my favorite. This one comes with, it's a limited edition that comes with a lotion. You could do this one or you could do that one, okay? We're gonna put them right here. They're decoration right here. You guys like my new picture frame? It says, may the bird, the bird, May the bridges I burn light the way. That's that's our goal for 2024. May the bridges I burn light the way. You hear that? May the bridges I burn light the way. <laughs> that bottle is beautiful. This one smells so good. I love the clouds. Oh, thank you. We're in the our heads in the clouds, girl. Tap 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 tap. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Hi guys. Hello everybody. How are you doing? We're just going to do a little makeup. I mean, it's like just, I wanted to come on and chit, chit. I, I wanted to come chit with you. <laughs> Sonia, everybody share. Thank you, Sonia. I need to message you guys, the admins. Um, the buttercream from B&B. &B, what's that? I'm a buttercream from B&B. &B. Send me the picture of it. Ooh, I got a, I got a gift over here. Mm, she gifting. Oh, somebody gifted over here too. Hold on. Oh, thank you, Karina. I love your nose. Thank you. I cut my finger. <laughs> She's cut. She, I'm not saying on that. Okay. So let's just do a little makeup. I'm going to put on some moisturizer. We're just going to chit chat. Oh. Sad. You yeah, were good, but your numbers dropped, but it's all cool. Yeah. I don't even focus on them. Y'all, I focus on who's here, not how many people are here. Like if you're talking to me, that's what I'm focused on. You'll notice I don't even look up. I look right here. Cause right here, the people that are engaging with me is expand. They're the, they're the, they're the, they're the real OGs. E, E. <laughs> I'm great. Thank you for asking. I shared you out. I love you, Grace. I love you and happy to see you coming back. Oh girl, I never left. I don't know why people keep saying, I'm glad you're back. I'm like, this is awkward. Awkward. Uh, I come. I've been going live uh, every day for like since forever. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Sabrina. At work, I I was putting up that frame and I I didn't even put it up right because me corté y dije no, yeah. Nobody, uh, girl, you can't bring me down, girl. I, I the only person that takes me down is my husband, and I'd be going down all the time, you know. Um, what did I miss? 
nothing yet. Hey, you guys, before we get started, can we just do like just a moment of silence um, for Slay with Selma? Actually, I meant to make a post earlier, but I didn't want to put it on my wall. You guys know what has been on my wall today. And it just that's not the vibe I want to do. So out of respect, before we start this makeup live, um, let's um, let's let's all just have a moment of silence for Slay with Selma. Um, rest in peace to her. And um, she's no longer in pain. She will be missed and respected in our community. Um, so if you guys can just all just moment of silence. <sighs> we got to pay respects to um, just you know, um, <clears throat> I got my, yeah. yes, rest, yes, all right, that little girl, man, I'm saying, I'm telling y'all, like, you can't take me down, because, like, there's people like that, that are literally leaving this world, fighting to live, and we can't be focused on that other crap, you know, like, the other stuff is just, like, nonsense, like, in the background, like, we got to focus on what really matters in this world. And that's to be kind to each other because it could be our last day here. You know, praying for her and her family. Absolutely. I didn't get to meet her personally. Um, you know, I, I knew of her story because we share a platform. Um, we're creators here on the same platforms. And um, I pray that her family and her her followers get the peace that they deserve. Um, and um just know that Selma, whatever her beliefs are, you know, she's in a better place and she's not in pain. Yeah, we have to be thankful. Okay. Okay. Oh, I made my drink, you guys. I haven't had a chance to film the video because I've literally been like, hi, Tana. Okay, Tana, I'm going to message you after. We have to come up with a plan. Like, are we playing it by ear tomorrow or what? I think for the rest of the week, whenever I go live, especially to do makeup, I think we'll, we'll have that moment of silence for her, okay? Um, love you, Rose. Thank you, Covina. What's the drink? It's a uh, coconut sparkling water with a little bit of strawberry um, puree and a little bit of coconut milk. It's really good. It's light in sugar. It just feels refreshing. It feels bubbly. It feels like a pink drink without the pink drink, you know? Hello, mamas. Hello, friend. Yeah. Okay. Um, I hate to just like be like, let's move on, but of course, you know, we're we're we we're, we're giving that time of respect, that moment of silence for her, and then we're gonna do makeup and we'll be doing that every live. Where did you get your cup? Oh, I ordered a bunch of these from the TT shop. If you want the little thing, I mean, I don't know if it's the same company, but they had like a pack of six for like 40 bucks yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. Of course. No, thank you guys for being here. If it's no, we'll be fine. If it's ice, we're spending the night. No, I'm just joking. I'm like, sleep over. Uh, Tana, let's, we, we don't even sleep. So who are we kidding? Okay. Let's do our brows and let's just hang out. Like, what are you guys doing tonight? What's going on? What's the vibe? You girls keep me so young. Okay. Where's my brow gel? Okay. Here it is. Thank you, Francelia. It's going to get real cold. Can I see your nails? Yeah, they look like this. They're they're already a little crusty, but they're like crusty, dusty, musty, and rusty. They're like not rusty, rusty. Um, I want to teach me how to make strawberry lemon lemonade agua fresca. Oh, girl, strawberry watermelon agua fresca. Yes, we could do that. Agua fresca season's coming. From exactly, exactly, Aaron. So much. So the same drink I've been drinking for like a week now, you guys. And then I get tired and then I make up another drink. Like I literally just make up stuff. I'm like, I make up, I guess I've been making up stuff. <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the, everything is a lie for me. Okay. Um, where is my mirror? Oh, here it is. Let's do some makeup. Let's do our eyebrows. Amiga, Lisa. Absolutely. Did we cook? I, I can't eat today. I've just been, oh. Thank you for the cowgirl hat. Compartido. Ay, gracias, Marta. Oh, you know what? Uh, I keep, so much has been going on. I, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get started, okay? So now we're gonna do our, 
I'm like looking in this mirror. Más mugroso que mi pano chape. You know, friend? Me voy a bañar tonight. Tonight, I promise. Tonight. Babe, tonight's the night. I told. I know I told you that last week, but tonight is the night. <laughs> Do you, girl? I. That's all I've ever worked. Oh, that's all that. That's all that needs to be done is me and like. Well, yeah, 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 friend. I mean, I mean, you like. Where's the hoodie from, Nancy? Um, this one is from. Let's see, make your nails. Like that. I mean, Rodney. Um. Where do you buy your room decor? Girl, honestly, back there right now, it looks like somebody just threw a pink out back there. I need to, like, organize it. I have my Santo Toribio, which is actually the the veladora that um, my dad really, like, when my dad passed away, he had a little um, Santo Toribio Santito in his wallet, and he had a couple dollars, and I got to keep one of the $5 bills. So I'm, even when I'm broke, I'll still have $5, thanks to my daddy. And I have a little Santo Toribio. And so I, I got the little veladora when my when he passed away that's right here. And I just, it, it means a lot. For years, I'm so glad I found you. Ah, Cammie and I are back together. Sorry, you guys. Now that she, we're back together, she, she thought she wanted someone else, but she came back. No, I'm joking. You're so pretty. Oh, oh, Leslie. Okay, so we're going to start off with our eyebrows. I have been picking up my skin a little bit. I'm I'm not going to do it anymore, you guys. I uh, I got on an emergency call with uh, my therapy that I fake. And um, and we're just going to we're gonna just focus on Rosalie this year. Honestly, it's January 2024. Let's get everything that's got to go, go now. Like, yeah. Buy on ahorita or you're stuck. <laughs> It's 2024, you guys. You know that fours are important. And if you add twos, they're fours. And then there's a four. So. Mm, interesting. The math is mathin'. How are your boys doing? So it's just been really cold, Fabian. You know what? I've, I've been wondering why Fabian's been like very like just like he says he's very tired. And I realized, you guys, it's his first. Do you have lip fillers? No. Why? Do I need them? They're like, your lips need to be full. Well, oh, let me put on a little lip lip uh, lip oil lip filler in. Hi, Steph. I wait for your... You do, Shannon? Oh, I wish I would have waited for marriage. Ah, no, I don't. <laughs> Literally, the worst, the best advice is never wait for marriage. You do not want to be surprised like that. Absolutely. No, it's not even my mental health, you guys. It's not that. It's, it's... There's so much more and, and, you know, maybe, maybe I'll talk to it, but like when you're having to experience somebody, like, I think it's my past with, with the situation I did put in my link tree. If you guys don't, do you pluck your eyebrows? No, girl, I barely have any. my brows. Where's your lip oil from? Oh my gosh, you guys, this lip oil, I found it. Um, uh, it's called Polite Society. It's Big Mouth. Also me. I have both me. Oil, oily, Big Mouth, Polite Society. <laughs> um, you, you did your, did you do your lips? No. Should I do them? I'm, I'm, no, I just put lip oil on. Oh, uh, he's, he's been saying his back hurts. And then I just realized that like one of the, one of the biggest things that happen in the winter, like, cause he has a, a metal rod in his back is metal bones. What, uh, why, what happened to your eyebrows? Oh, you know, it was actually a very traumatic accident. Um, it started in about middle school and I fell in love. I fell in love with the cholo and I wanted to fit in with the cholitas specifically. And cause I wanted to be their type. So I was like, the thinner the brow, the more, the the better your man. And they just didn't grow back. They didn't grow back. And I mean, what can I say? Okay, we're going to go under the brow. So if you guys have uh, retired retired 90s brows. Oh, you're retired. Um, this is how you do it. Okay, so you go under the brow. And I'm going to gently sketch. If it was an Etch-a-Sketch and I messed up, I would be like. 
Oh, you guys saw the clip on the back of my head? Yeah, because my little pelitos were peleando. Yeah, it was a traumatic accident from the 90s. I'm still recovering. Oh, actually, I, I, I think that this is just what's left. This is the recovery. <laughs> the camera's blurry. It is? Friend, I mean, what? hold on. Look, hold on. I'll be your friend forever. Oh, Brianna, I adore you for that. Okay, hold on. Okay, and if if it's still blurry, go like this. Maybe it's your eyes. Maybe you got a little man come or something. And it gets in your eyes, it makes you blurry. Well, at least me. I don't know about you. It makes my eyes sting a little too. No, you're good, babe. Okay. <laughs> I have a picture. I have a picture, you do? Um, I love your hair clip. Thank you. They're, they're little hair clips from, look it. From our favorite discount store. <laughs> Chola. The Chola days were the best, y'all. This is just, uh, this is the Juvia's Place eyebrow pencil. I just like any skinny pencil. I do, I've just started using this one because it, they were $2. My mom's recovering from a procedure. I love that. I love that, friend. Please give your mom a, all my healthy wishes for me. Simone! So, um, yeah. And I need to get my Botox because I'm starting, well, when I'm anxious, I also, because I used to, like, clench my jaw, like, like, I'd clench my jaw, and then I'd wake up, and, oh, I felt like andaba mamando verga all day. Like, it was like, oh, hello, Dreezy? Did I say it right? Oh, my God, I practiced. Did I say it wrong again? Oh, my God. I'm going to give you my phone your phone number. Call me right now. Call the ho, the ho line and tell me how to say it if I say it wrong. Washington, very close to you. You're from? I live in Centralia. Oh, wait. Centralia has the Tacos El Rey. I love, babe. Ma Cindy, Mane, uh, is Tacos el Rey, el Rey, el Way in Centralia? Is that where the Nike store is? <sighs> is um the Nike store in Centralia? Mm -hmm. Okay, I love Centralia. They have this awesome little taco spot in downtown called Tacos el Rey. I not the way. Um, what, what do you want? Oh, somebody said they were from Centralia, and I knew I knew that. Yeah, you did it. Oh, ya puede mamar. Um, yes. Hey, girl. So maybe someday I can meet you. Oh, my God. I love that. Come over. I'm only like, babe, how far is it? Two hours? Are you guys snowing right now? Is it snowing in Centralia? Oh, I don't know what that meant. Oh, that means I got some taps. Oh, yeah, you guys tap. We got these perfumes. You guys... Whoever, if you, whoever, if you guys get to 400 shares over here, then you can, whoever gets there, then we pick somebody and then she could pick. We'll pick three people. So we'll keep making goals, okay? So we have Pink Sugar, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, or Dolce & Gabbana Lily. I like the Lily and the Pink Sugar and the Light Blue. Those are all my favorite. And these are very like Cholita vibes. Well, I don't know about this one. This one's new. But when I was in high school, girl, if I wasn't wearing Tommy Girl, I was doing Tommy Boy. No, I'm just joking. If I wasn't wearing Tommy Girl, I was actually always wearing Light Blue. <laughs> I think it was high school or maybe it was college. Yeah, he's a sabe. Pink sugar is the bomb. I love it. I love smelling like an amateur brosti. I love it. Okay. Um, we're going to grab a brow pen. And this one is in the color. Si no te... Oh, no, this is too dark. Oh, here it is. Brown. Espresso. How many kids you got? Two, girl. Why? You want one? You can have the older one, the 20-year-old. Fabian, you can't have him. He's he's <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> or wait, it's like this. He's the best, the heart. I want your Hello Kitty sweater. It's yours, Priscilla. It's yours. You can have it. Do you mind if I B.O. in it and if it has a little white mancha right here? It's a mystery mancha. You don't know what it is, girl. Light blue is my favorite. There you go. Okay, so we're just going to draw the brows. We're just drawing hairs, okay? The hairs do not exist, but we're going to draw them. She's lying. They're not hairs. They're marker. I really like you when you're not being corriente. Oh, then you don't like me at all, friend. Soy corriente, friend. Soy pobre, soy corriente, soy, you. soy all those things, friend. I'm intelligent too. D trust me. Las prostis, they're the most intelligent friend. They know how to charge. They don't do it for free. Ah! 
Um, I love Juliet alone. Oh, what happened with you? Oh, if you want to know, Miranda, um, in my link tree, oh, and you guys are over here in my link tree, I put um, the video that explains it all. It is two hours long. So if you're bored and you want to know what I've been dealing with for the last four months, then did, I did. We did a moment of silence for her. Entre más corriente, más cogida. <laughs> I'm like, does it count? Because it's double C's. <laughs> um, I love your ponytail. This isn't a ponytail, friend. This is a chongo, chongo mugroso. What are you talking about? <laughs> Should I watch you on here or on YouTube? LOL. Here and then we can go there. So here are my pelos. Look at that. I'm like feather butt, feather butt, <laughs> feather brows, feather, no tengo butt. So feather butt about right, you know, light and fluffy, <laughs> light and light like a feather. <laughs> get out of here. No, get out of here. I watch you here. Oh, I love that, Anna. You can watch me wherever you want, girl, even on corn hub. Corn. I said corn, corn. I knew I'm not on there yet. <laughs> um, corriente. Oh my God. I can't. You, you know what? You could take the girl, you can take the girl out of you can take the inteligente out of the girl but you can't take the corriente out of the girl <laughs> uh don't tell me oh she did dora she did ah <laughs> um oh you, you think i have nice cheekbones it's because i'm getting skinny again which isn't a that's not a flex girl i'm trying to get fit not skinny uh oh it's not my YouTube channel. It's a YouTube video that was made from somebody that's part of what happened, which, and I'm telling you 100%, there's not one lie in there because I experienced it. So um, it's not my video, but you'll hear my name in there a few times. I love your lives. Oh, thank you. Okay, um, let's get some makeup on so we don't, let's let's see like if I could do the no makeup makeup look. I've never tried that. Honestly, I'm kind of scared. Do you guys think I could do the no makeup makeup look? Let me know hello i love your lives thank you friend you could take the girl out of the, you can't take that's true friend and you know what there ain't nothing wrong with being a little corriente corriente is that the equivalent of ghetto i don't know <laughs> and i'm not insulted you guys honestly you can call me whatever you want and i'll answer i'll be like yes it's me hello <laughs> but don't call me late for dinner because i'm hungry i believe in you i believe you can brew out so you're just kind of like fluffing the brows up and I'm trying to avoid pressing too hard so you don't get like these little like dark dots that I got there because I pressed too hard. Can be both. I can be both intelligent and corriente at the same time girl because I could spell corriente. Corriente. <laughs> you're doing great honey. You're doing great. <laughs> Where's the pen from? Nix. Finally Lisa. Has the weather eased up? No, girl. Our weather's just starting. Um, tomorrow is our ice winter advisory. And then from there, we're going to get about three to six inches of snow. And then we'll see. I honestly, I want to do this thing where, like, I do my makeup like Snow White. And I go out in the snow. And I, me and Pebbles, you know, the dog that I don't really like, um, uh, we go and like we frolic in the snow. Hopefully there's not like any yellow snow because mis perras mian por todos lados. What state? I, I'm in Oregon. Corote pants. I do. Corote, sponsor me. I'm hoping you'll motivate me to do makeup. Let's do it. <sighs> I'm me breathing hard. I'm like, okay. Um, so we're going to do the brows. To the girl that called me corriente, I was, I'm just teasing. Honestly, I'm, I am corriente. Look, you want me to be myself or you want me to be somebody else? Let me know. Star! You're 24 degrees in Utah. You know what? I don't like Utah. Let me tell you why. There's a story behind it. I'm not allowed to say his name. His name is Rick with an N. Okay, so I dated a long time ago after I left my dv marriage i had one serious relationship and then i met jose and actually y'all do not sleep on the rebounds because them rebounds could be a life bound oh <gasps> put it on a t-shirt put it on a cup tag me <laughs> okay here are my brows they're peludas familia peluche 
So I was in a really like intense relationship that I shouldn't have been in because I wasn't healed from the for the other intense relationship. So I ruined the one that actually didn't need to be ruined. So yay, me, me ruining things. I'm like, look, one thing about me is if I'm ruining things, you're, I'm going to tell you I'm ruining things. I was a toxica, okay? And so um, we broke up, whatever. I'm not talking about him. Um, and so I should put on my, I should put on my, um, my microphone and whisper the story. He'll never know. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Thank you, Susan, for the stars. So, um, so Jose and I met when I was in the, well, it's so weird because Jose, I kept bumping into Jose when I would come bring Fabian to see his sperm. Oh, oh. <gasps> giver sperm giver spermer sperm giver sperm giver okay and um or his dna giver i don't know how do you call it but he ain't no father because he don't get that name um so um when i came to, i would bump into jose at all the bars but like at first i would just kind of be like hey and then i'd go back home and then you know go back into being a toxic and um okay we're gonna do the brows but we're trying to do like a no makeup makeup look so let's see if we could do it because i honestly always end up like full glam like ready to go dance on a pole or something um corriente you know <laughs> you know <laughs> donor there you go or sperm bank yeah we're gonna call him the sperm bank okay yes the sperm bank so when uh, i bring him to come see a sperm bank and then the sperm bank would never open or show up <laughs> um the i would i would i would always come like on a thursday and i'd always go out with my friend sandra shout out to sandra sandra say hi long-term friend um your dv topic video made me feel not alone oh no friend we're not alone we're not alone there's a lot of us and we're not victims we're survivors i never want to be a victim i'm never a victim girl I'm never going to be a victim. I'm going to be a survivor because that's where our survivors, we going to lick it, you know, that. Um, Share, not Fa Fabian, amiga, not Fabian, Julian. Oh, God, I always say Fabian and I mean Julian. You get, do, you, do your mom ever do that? My mom would be yelling and Nellie's not home, but she'd be like, Nellie, and I'd be on the couch, like on my phone, texting. Back then it was beeping because you would beep people like, um, like like four and then uh you know three and then zero and then um two ones and then you would flip it over and it'd say hello you know and i'd be on the couch and my mom would be like nelly and i'd be like and then she'd be like and i'm like i'm not nelly i'm rosalie oh <laughs> me that's me now that's me um <laughs> uh, shout out to the long terms long term friends um lick it girl <laughs> yes with the pagers right i'm like i just wanted a pager because i wanted somebody to send me the secret codes i never had a pager you know what i did have though the first cricket phone the cool one that you could f change the faces i was like that's when it was cool to be double faced <laughs> sorry sorry you guys please okay that's it i'm out of here no <laughs> i miss my pager i need two that's it can we bring the pagers back Anyways, my mom would be yelling at me. Oh, let's go back to the story. Okay. Anyways, my mom would always be yelling another name and I, I would be saying that. Do you want more kids? You know what, Natalie? I took out my my birth control about two summers ago and nothing has happened. And let me tell you, it's not, it's not that we're not doing the things. It might be that like I'm not getting the full load, but I'm definitely doing the things, you know, and nothing's happening. And I really do believe that like in life, everybody has the number of children that they're supposed to have you know like that's it that's the number your mom had a cricket flip phone the brick phone girl that can also be a weapon of self-instruction i remember those phones but i had the coolest phone mine was a zebra print because back then pink zebra print okay you were the it girl okay you were the it girl i just think that like I'm meant to be Fabian and Julian's mom, and that's what's meant for me, you know? And so I only had two kids. But anyway, so I would come, and the, one of the times, ah, me, I would come, capital, um, um, and one of those times that I came, I bumped in, I, I got invited to, like, a house party after being at the, 
at the sapphire it was the sapphire and then it was the copper penny and i think now it's called the the something nickel i don't know girl there was all kinds of change it might even be called the quarter at this point it's on commercial street if you're from salem oregon and so um i like he was there with like a he was just really like there and i like saw him and i was like oh he's cute or whatever and but we never talked and then um you know i was in a relationship where i was literally enamored in love i just was like but i had just gotten out of a very hurtful relationship a relationship that really did hurt me physically and so i was like in a very toxic state i still hadn't healed from what i had gone through so i was in a if if it hurts, it feels good. Like, I pay them, make them as well. You know, like, I felt like, um, you know, like when you're in a, in a relationship where it's constant, like, negativity, it almost feels like when people are too nice to you, you're like, wait a minute, why are you being nice? Let me do something to sabotage that. That was me at the time. And he ended up breaking up with me. Well, technically, we're still together because his mom broke up with me and he never literally ever, like, called me and said, it's over so i'm married and also in a relationship of 20 year 20 or 19 years so that's another story okay it doesn't count until he calls like if he calls me today it breaks up with me then it's over <laughs> it's over he's like Girl, what the hell? stop i laugh at myself i laugh at myself anyways and um I met Jose on one of those times and then I met him again and then I met him again. And finally, my friend Sandra, you know, my long term friend that I've had for a long time. Um, she was like, just get her number. And he's like, can I have your number? And then he pops out this exact. No, it wasn't this phone. This is the phone he got after that phone. But he popped out a phone that looked like, hmm, let me see. What did that phone look like? That phone looked like this. He's like, yeah, can you put my phone number in there? And I'm like, uh, is that like a car door? Is that a garage door opener or a phone? And he's, oh no, even better. He popped out a phone that looked like this. It was like a big old block. And he's like, can you put your phone number in there? And I was like, oh, sure. And I had, I, girl, I had the sidekick. I was like, yes, let me get your number. And then I was like, what's your name? Hoser. What's your phone number? 503-999-9999. Got it. I'll text you later. Boo. No, but, <laughs> but like he had like this big old phone and I was like, oh, I kind of made fun of him for having that phone. I'm like, Girl, sir, where did you get this phone? And he was like, oh, um, it was like one of the ones that like your mom bought the good phone and you got the penny phone, you know? And I kind of made fun of him and he like, we went to, uh, we went from there and then he's like, are you guys leaving? And I, we were like, yeah, we're leaving. And he's like, okay. And he's like, okay, well, I'll call you. And I was like, all right. And we got in our car and we drove, we were driving home and then we drove by the speakeasy, which was the local gay club, which that was popping. Damn house phones. I know I had the sidekick too. I know. And then I had the Blackberry. I was like, let me ask my assistant and if I'm free today. I'm like, my Blackberry says I'm free. I have nothing going on um so yeah and i met jose and the rest is history hostry we call it hostry it's when hoes have history you know um hi rosalie hi so that's how we met where was the story going <laughs> blackberry razor oh this is an actual dinosaur from them times if i turn this on i know there's at least a, two of jose's hoes in this phone this is the ho phone and this is the who's phone Oh, no, this is the whole phone because this was the, well, he was still single with this one. Look, this one went through things. This is the phone that you, you're like, let me see who you're talking to. And he's like, uh, I'm not talking to anyone. Let me see. And you're fighting for it. And then it like flies and it hits the window and it breaks. Yeah, like that. This is the phone right here. Should we go through it and find out how many hoes he had? Well, I have to find the charger that goes to this. Uh, do you guys think it still works? Uh, and I'm like, do you think I could still call someone? <laughs> I'm like, do you think I could uh, add this to my plan? <laughs> um, and then this is his other phone. What, what secrets are in here? Not the flip phone. Always the flip phone, Veronica. Always the flip phone. Amazon. I'm. We're gonna. I'm gonna order it next live. What's in Jose's ho phone? <laughs> And we met and then, you know, he was my rebound because I was literally heartbroken. Here's what I told him the first thing. I'm like, look, we can hang out. We could do the things, all the things up and down, all around, tie you up, wrap you up. Well, 
wrap it up and you know flip it and reverse it you know we did all that and um he was like loving it and he was like mcdonald's he's like da, 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 i'm loving it and i was like mm, i'm still in love with this person but i really wasn't i think i was just like inhoituated it's like when a hoe gets infatuated with the d you know and so I have to tell you guys my descriptions, descriptions, because I talk different, okay? I'm, di I'm, I'm made of a different cloth. <laughs> and so, you know, that's how we met. Um, he was a little bit of my rebound. And then all of a sudden, and I was actually kind of seeing thought, oh, it wasn't like serious because, you know, I had just recently found out that he was like in a whole marriage. And I was like, sir, look, if you want me to be the Sancha, that's great. But I got to sign up. Like, I got to get my parent permission slip and be like, do you, Miguel Rodriguez, allow your daughter to be the Sancha? And then my dad signs it. And then he's like, yes, I hope, you know, like it has to be those vibes. Did the gummy hit? <laughs> what gummy? I'm just on a different vibe. Like, I'm just like, you know, when you stop caring about anything, you're just happy to be alive. You just, you just vibe, you know? <laughs> no gummy yet, girl. Why should I have one? Where are they? Are they here? Gummy, where are you? Gummy. Oh, don't you test me with a good time. <laughs> this is Q&A. Yes, ask me more questions. Oh, and then I, you know, ended up marrying him, having children. He's like the love of my life. He's the partner that I've always needed. He's literally the yang to my... He's the yin to my yang, you know what I mean? Mm hmm Yeah. And, like, I'm just, like, never again looking in another di di direction. <laughs> so, what's the next question? <laughs> um, Since when are you... Since forever, girl! S since about 2020? <laughs> like, since... Since the... Pan <laughs> dulce? Um, oh, my goodness. <laughs> What is your favorite color? Mm, my favorite actual color of life is green. I think green is a color that gives peace. It's a color that when you look at it, it it's rich, it's peaceful, and it, it's money, girl. Even though I ain't got none. So maybe that's the problem. <laughs> maybe I need to get a new favorite color for sure. For sure. <laughs> no, I was joking. I've been around for four years. Oh, I know. Friend, first of all, you guys... Here, if I'm not sensitive, y'all aren't sensitive. The only place you need to be sensitive is in between the legs, okay? That's it. No sensitivity here. Ain't nobody fighting, okay? Put your boxing gloves away. We're about girl, gr girls, girls. We're girls, girls. We're like team girls. Like, go, girl, go. And if you're a boy, then we're like girl boys, you know, girls, boys. Like, I am a girl boy. I'm gonna be boying. My man be boying, boying me all the time, but... That's why we love it. Yeah, you can act, tell me, honestly, tell me anything. If it's disrespectful, I'm going to be like, uh, ya te pasas this way. <laughs> um, how many kids do you have? I have two. Two. Like, the ones that, like, survived the, the uterus and didn't get, like, swallowed or, like, you know, spit out or, like, dripped out. Two. The rest, they didn't make it, friend. They didn't make it through the process. <laughs> Uh, what I I'm gonna do a no makeup makeup look because I've never done one and I'm actually curious. Like my no makeup makeup look is uh let's not put any makeup on. But I see all these like pretty naturally pretty and like uh young girls like putting on a little gloss and some mascara and you know and like I know I'm ready for the day and I'm like I want to be like no I'm ready for the D you know. It uh, feels like I'm facetiming my bestie. What do you want to talk about now? Cammy, <laughs> you crack me up, friend. Friend, ask me another. Who has uh, raise your hand if you have another question for the teacher today? We are learning hoography one hundred one or sixty nine one sixty nine. <laughs> um, hi, lady. Hi, Linda. Okay, so we're just gonna clean up the top of the brow. I never use the same concealer for the top of the brow but we're just we're just going in y'all like honestly we're just pretending like we're just talking honestly like if i don't put no makeup on uh, once in a while i might rub something on my face so it looks like i'm actually trying i woke up like this <laughs> maybe maybe angie no menos, a que no pasarnos, friend. that's a lot of pressure <laughs> 
I wish you could hear my belly laugh. Your belly's laughing, friend. The only thing that I've ever made laugh is my vagina, but it's not really a laugh. It's like when air gets caught and there's liquid in there and it goes, but it kind of sounds like a, like it could be like a little cackle. Um, I have two children, eight grandchildren and four. Gr girl, you're giving me hope because I'm actually afraid that like, I'm not going to have like a big family, but you, girl, your two children busted out some grandkids for you, girl. They did you, you know what? They did you a solid friend because the more grandkids, the more kids that you have to contribute to the retirement home fund or the like take care of grandma so she doesn't like, you know, se desvalaga and get lost fun or things like that. Would you ever get your brows microbladed? You know, no, Cammy. Me, no. Next tomorrow, come with me to get my brows microbladed. <laughs> um, at no, you know why? Because I really enjoy being able to do with my brows whatever I want. Like, if I want skinny, if I want big, like, si se te antoja, how, como se te antoje, you go. How did you get rid of a toxico? Girl, I just freaking said bye. My, my ex-husband, the first one, I said, uh, so if you, if we don't separate, one of us is going to be, um, buried and it's probably going to be me and funerals are expensive. So I got to go. <laughs> like, I'm trying to make it to see if uh, Y2K is going to happen. <laughs> um, who taught you to cook so well? So when I was little, once upon a time, not really long ago, porque si estoy viejita, um, my parents worked really hard. My dad worked in roofing and my mom worked in um, like canerias and she would work the like 11, 11 to like the mid hour one. And so she would prep the food and my sister was supposed to cook it. But my sister, she liked flirting with boys at the window. I know Nelly, bien santita la way, verdad? She looks like, like she can even hurt a bug, pero más beep, beep, beep que yo, you know? Thank you, amiga. I've been struggling with anxiety lately. Your live is calming me and I'm here laughing. Honestly, friend, I was talking to somebody, Marlo, <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> me, I'm like, Marlo. I was talking to somebody and I was like, you know, sometimes, sometimes laughing is my only way so I don't cry, you know? How young do you think it's okay to be wear makeup? I think that, I think that it's okay to wear makeup for play when you're a little girl because I think you're like curious. Like you see your mom putting on a little lip gloss. Um, I think, uh, I think like 11 and 12, you start experimenting with a little mascara, a little touch of blush, a little tinted sunscreen. And then from there, wait, me? I was like, mm, don't, don't say you because then you're going to get some DMs. There are going to be some DMs in your box. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. No, girl, 16. Are we talking about virginity or makeup? 16? <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm like, have you seen these 16-year-olds on here? They look like, like they're ready to sign up for Social Security. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, what are we talking about? Still talking about makeup? <laughs> uh, that's how old I was, 12-ish. Yeah, I think like, it's important to start experimenting young. We're talking about makeup, y'all. Okay. Don't experiment young. Unless you want to experiment with another young person, do not be experimenting with older guys like I did because that was not legal and a lot of men should have gone to jail. <laughs> Especially at bailes. They're like, ¿Quieres bailar? And I'm like, no sé. ¿Quieres bailar? No sé. ¿Quieres bailar? No sé. Te enseño. Mm, enseñame. <laughs> and them tight cowboy pants? I was like, enseñame. Mm, okay, sí quiero bailar. <laughs> I had my appointment and went to sleep could I still pull up? If, but, okay. I had a appointment. My appointment went to sleep, but I still pulled up. Me trying to process that comment. <laughs> um, that's so true. Um, I, I know, I'm like, sir, I'm literally dancing. I'm like, hey, somebody come get your deal. Or somebody come tell your tia. Your tío's trying to dance with a 13-year-old at the baile because I was 13 because my sister was 14, 15, 16. Me trying to do math. My sister was 16 and my sister wanted to go to the baile with Sandra, which is also my best friend. And my dad was like, yeah, take your sister. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> And so I got to have all my fun and her fun too. 
I think she had an appointment to go to sleep. Oh, I was like, mm. My, I call it an appointment when I'm doing things. Jose's like, we have an appointment. And I'm like, dick appointment? <laughs> um, no, sis. No. <laughs> okay, let's uh, clean up the brows. They're like, this is a no makeup look. And we're done. All right, another question. What would Rosalie do? This is literally, the do the opposite of what I say, please. Nothing's ever gone well for me. <laughs> nothing nothing in life nothing in friendship but you know what still blessed and i cannot my hand's shaking i'm like, <laughs> I'm like nervous i'm like i have not wait what is she about to say <laughs> i have never ever ever regretted anything because everything that we go through in life is a learning lesson or it's a beautiful memory i've had more lessons than memories but still i'm learning <laughs> My daughter is 15 and a half, so she's ready to get married. No, I'm joking. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Only because I went to a lot of quinceañeras that, like, we were, like, like bailando el vals. Hold on. Me bailando el vals. Like, like with the dress. Like, pump pump. Because all it was was a step back and forth. Nobody could see my feet. Oh, I have a picture of me in the quinceañera. Uh, my chambelan was Ricardo. I'm pretty sure he was, like, 55 years old. Um, And he was in love with me. And I was like, you no because he kind of had like a little ranchero vibe and back then i was more into like cholito vibes well i had no brows so that will tell you and we were at the quinceanera and then at the practices he's like quiero ser tu novio and he's like después de que vaya el seguro social agarrar mi retiro will you marry me i'm like <laughs> he was way older and i was like no no you're not my tipo he's like what's your tipo and i'm like así bien bien Bien, you know, bien pantalón caído, like being creased up, like he had to smell like three flowers. And he didn't come with me, none of that, like that, like cow bomb, like hair ointment to make your hair shiny. It needed to be three flowers. If he did not smell like three flowers, he wasn't going to get this flower. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. And so I wasn't feeling him, but then when I showed up to the quinceanera that day, um, and back then, girl, there were no Emmy ways doing her makeup. There was a lady that knew your mom that knew how to curl hair with a piece of lime, and the curls were, like, tight and pretty much smelled like burnt nalgas, and then, like, you'd put on a little lipstick, you know, you'd draw on your little brows, because I had none, and you'd just be like, vamonos, vamonos. He wasn't that old. I think he was, like, 22 when I was, like, you know, like, 14, you know, like, which is super illegal. Don't do it, girls. Look, let me tell you. Those older boys, they're just trouble. Te van a embarazar y te van a dejar con el domingo siete. That's a Sunday seven. That's when, if you ever hear somebody say domingo siete, ay, y salió con su domingo siete. That means she, she didn't go to church, baby girl. She was domingo siete. Thank you, Ms. Aira. Are you trying to give me the Ricardo? But let me tell you, he showed up. He showed up. Ooh, I was like, excuse me, sir. Do you want to dance tonight? <laughs> you showed up looking like, I was like, is that you, Ricardo? And then he talked and he had his little ranchero voice. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's you. That's totally you. I'm a voice girl. Like, I have, I have, I have met some very good looking men. Okay. And then they open their mouth. And I'm like, I'm not opening my mouth for you, sir. That's just not going to happen. If you don't have the voice of, uh, like, you know, like, uh, like, uh, like, almost like you're already moaning, then I don't want you. Jose's voice, I was like, I see, look, he's a little chaparrito, okay? He's a little chaparrito for me, but honestly, I see, like, sitting down or laying down, we're the same size, and I don't even like wearing heels. Like, my toes hurt, okay? So, we work. <laughs> Raspy, deep, thick. And yes, I'm talking about his voice. <laughs> rough, 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 <laughs> rough, rough. Um, so yeah, and he came, he showed up to the quinceanera. And then all of a sudden, you guys, all the girls wanted him. All the girls were like, you're tall AF. He's short. Oh, no, I'm 5'5", five five, and he's 5'5". Five five. So we're exactly the same size, but he's older. He's Jose's eight years older than me, but I also met him when I was like 21, not like 12, you know? Uh, so that's legal. So, okay. There's people out there. I'm not going to say nothing, but 
Espérate, friend. Espérate. You're going to have to plan. My advice to young girls is just wait, girl. Look, you're going to want to go to all the parties. And all your friends are going to be single, going to college, wearing the belly shirts. And you're going to have stretch marks. You're going to have a child vomit on your shirt. You know, like, you're going to have, you know, diaper rash cream in your hair. Like, wait a minute. Just hold off. Wait a minute. We'll put you back into it. He's not your cousin. Definitely not my cousin. I, I'm not into family members. I mean, if that's your thing, I am judging you because that's weird. Like, first cousins. Uh, there's first cousins, and then there's a second cousins, and then there's third cousins, and then there's cousins. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't? <laughs> I was 5'9 in my heels, and he was 5'... Girl, look, closer to the, the G-spot. <laughs> I, I just read your post and I can't believe it. Girl, I can't either. Honestly, I, I'm literally like, you know, there's something about me and there's something, it's definitely a me problem. Okay. This is, I'm not blaming nobody. It's me. Yo soy la pendeja. Like when people are like, you're the problem. Oh girl. Yes. I am the problem. Trust and believe. I literally attract cucarachas. We're going to call them cucarachas. And, you know, cucarachas can look like ladybugs, like bien así cute. And then all of a sudden you realize they're cucarachas and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's my problem. I have to deal with it. I have to understand. I might be a cucaracha too. Who knows? To them, I might be the cucaracha. To me, they're the cucaracha. But, you know, everybody's side. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying. We never know. <laughs> Who's the real cucaracha? <laughs> I don't know. I just see the best in people. That's my problem. I literally see like, like, oh, she's stealing makeup and selling it on live. But I feel like she's like a good person. Like she donated to church. She put a $20 bill in that, in that little bin. Like, I feel like there's good in her. Like we could probably fix her. I'm a fixer. Like, let's take care of her. You know, like if maybe if she's loved and, and coddled and, and respected, she can be a good person. That's me. I'm like, in men too, clearly. Clearly, me almost being like, you know, by one. And I'm like, but we could fix them, you know? Like, what if what if I'm the one? Where do you buy your cups? I buy them on the TT shop. And they come with like the little clear top. It's definitely a me problem. I'm learning what it is about me that just like, doesn't just like literally like <laughs> i have messages on my phone where i'm like i just want friends who treat me with respect i'm so sorry can we try again sure uh two months later she did this to me blah, 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 blah. i'm like oh my god i shouldn't have said yes <laughs> i should have been a no it should have definitely been a no <laughs> like it's my fault i 100 percent. when people are like you're about i am it's me it's definitely me <laughs> Dude, I try fixing things for people too much and it's always bad. Yeah, and then you're like nice to them and you're like always there for them. And then when they call you in the middle of the night or their children call you in the middle of the night because you're literally going crazy and destroying everything and like literally like scaring people. And then like, then you're like, later you're like, you're, you're Yolanda. I'm like, girl, I never heard of Yolanda Saldivar saving lives. I've only heard of him taking lives. So I'm like, so, you know, I'm learning. I'm 38. I'm the young age of 38. Bien pendejita still. Um, it's something I've been doing my whole life. In elementary school, it was this girl named Vernita. I'm not going to say her real name, but it starts with a B. And, you know, she was my friend. And um, she really never talked to me around other people. But, like, when we we were at the apartment, she, we, were, we were cool. And then, like, whenever I had cool things that she wanted, she wanted to borrow, you know, I'd be like, oh, I like that dress that my mom just spent her last $20 at JCPenney's to buy me or on her Mervyn's card or on her Montgomery Ward's card um, to buy me. And I'd be like, you want to borrow it? Sure. And then I'd never get it back. You know, that was just me. That's just always been me. And it's a me problem. It's a nobody else problem but me problem. Yeah, I'm like, oh, but we could fix them. <laughs> I used to watch you in 2019 on FB, and now I found you again. Are you broken or are you fixed? I'm not fixing that thing, girl. If you're broken, we're staying broken together. Because my repair days, my repair woman, 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 woman days are over. Um, I'm just saying, it's a, it's a definitely a me problem. I am going to learn from it, and then maybe... It'll be better in the future, girl. I can't promise because clearly it's a me problem, but it's fine. 
I'm learning. We're all learning. We're young. And this is just, it's, this is the game of life. And like, a ver si gano. <laughs> Guinness fillers. Well, I mean, it could be a filler. It's called Polite Society Big Mouth. It's a lip plumper and it just like makes your lips so plump. Can you see my nails? I did them. I did them on myself the other day when I was having a panic attack. Yeah, it's me a problem. Okay, please just know that. I just feel like when um, and I almost didn't even say anything because you know what? I was like, oh, you know, like just stay quiet, Rosalie, because you're already drama. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. People already think I'm drama, and I'm not defending myself. I should just defend myself and then be real drama. So now I decided that for now and on, I'm gonna defend myself, and then. People can call me drama because I am. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rosalie. Middle name drama, last name Delgado. Um, my name my name is Fabian, so my son's name is Fabian Jr. His name is Fabian. Oh, your your husband's name is Fabian? Wait, where is the lip filler from? Uh, Ulta. Ulta, girl. It's from the brand Polite Society. Here, I got the... Okay, so whenever I'm trying new things, I never buy the big one. Unless it's a man, then I keep, I, I marry the big one. Um, but th I'm talking about not height. I'm talking about something else. And, but I got the big one. What's the new drama? Oh, nothing. You know, just that like, um, uh, you know, life. <laughs> if you really want to know and you got two hours, go to my link tree, which is in my bio. If you're over here or it's pinned below and it's the first video on top and it's not my video, but it's the truth. Okay. And my name is in there. So if you got a little extra time, I mean, I, I can't promise you you're going to get those two hours back, but you're going to understand why I've just been like breathing a little, you know, cucaracha moment, a little like, can you apologize to my boyfriend for you finding out that he literally put a pew pew in his ex head and is wearing a six month ankle monitor and you want me to be cool with that when you know that my past has so much triggers from that and then you're literally going to have him yell on me on the phone and threaten me because he says he's a fbi pew pew instructor like it's a, it's a lot there's a lot there's a lot of twists and turns there's a little like sideways and then flip it and reverse it but if you have time this is it this is it this is my i'm going to a funeral look not funeral i don't like funerals i don't wear makeup to funerals because i honestly cry this is i'm going to the buffet look no not the buffet because when i go to the buffet girl i wear a hat i wear some big big pants and a big shirt <laughs> yeah i hate funerals i do too and i honestly like went to when i went to my dad's funeral i was like i'm gonna wear a dress and all that and then i was like oh wait we're gonna be walking to the funeral and you have y'all ever seen those sidewalks in mexico they're more crooked than somebody that we know's teeth you know like i don't know who do we know you know like when school school stop off i don't think anyone likes th them i'm attend i'm attending one tomorrow oh my friend no, actually, no, you said that you don't know, not everybody, that's not true. That's not true because in Mexico, there's a group of señoras, they love praying. You Do you already have gray hair? Girl, I'm 38 years old. I'm surprised that I'm not all gray with the amount of stress and crap I've been through in this lifetime. I'm like, this is a blessing, honestly. I do, I do have grays, like, I mean, girl, do you see my, my handsome, my handsome dad? He was the king of grays. Look at how well he wore them. Like, hello, handsome. I miss you. The only person that I miss from my past that's no longer here is this man. So if you ever have questions about me missing anybody, this is the only person that's left this, that's not in my life right now, but it's always here that I miss is right here. This handsome, handsome, beautiful, smiling man. That man. And of course, we're going to embrace that. No, my, my, there is this group of ladies in all these, in all the pueblos. They love going to funerals. They love, it's like, my dad used to make fun of him. He'd go, no, esas señoras, 
they hire them because they're the best criers and prayers in San Luis. And I was like, can they go to mine? If nobody goes, can you like double up and get some from around the ranchos? Um, he looks like he was a wonderful person. Oh, the best person in the world. I honestly feel like that when he left this world, the world went to S. <laughs> the pan dulce ruined everything. <laughs> not ready to rock the grays you know what i do i do dye my hair like once a year but i don't want to i honestly just don't care that much girl i'm married af and you know what as long as down there is not gray he's happy bien limpiecito bien rosita <laughs> my my son's funeral oh don't tell me that abby don't i'm so sorry abby i'm so sorry Abby said that the last funeral she went to was her son's six months. Where's the video? It's in my link tree. It's the first thing on top. It says, what's been happening? I miss my dad too. Yeah. It's the last funeral. Yes. He is in peace, friends. He's so in peace. And you know what? I'm in peace. Like, can I tell you guys that? Like, I know that I've said I'm anxious. You know why I'm anxious? I'm not anxious because of, of what's happening. I'm not anxious about that because I got this. Like, I've been working on myself for the last year so that I can have the strength to deal with anything that comes. So I got this, right? Um, I get anxious because it reminds me of other situations that ended violently. And I think that's where the anxiety comes because it's the, it's the, it's that, you know? Um, he's in peace. Yes, friend. My heart, friend. No mom should bury a baby, but I understand. I stopped coloring my hair all over a year ago. I'm 43. Okay, Amy. Y'all, be in a world full of Rosalies, be an Amy. Right? Like, yeah. That's what it is. It's, I'm not worried, girl. I'm, look, girl, look, I got attacked and then I got sued for being attacked. Tasha, your um package is going out this, well, maybe not. If, if I can get out tomorrow during the ice storm, um, it sounds like a drink. Ice storm. Can I get an ice storm? What flavor? Cotton candy. Where are we at for shares? I don't even know. We're only at 29 taps over here. Should we continue to do our makeup? Ya empezamos con el cheese morrito. Okay, you guys, let me tell you this. First red flag I ignored. That woman worked with an influencer called Jacqueline Hill. Do you guys know Jacqueline? Shout out to Jacqueline. Um... Um, I'm not going to reach out to Jacqueline because I have nothing to say. I'm not. Look, one of the things that I think is the most disgusting kind of person, you know, the kind of the most disgusting person in this world is when somebody's with like somebody's in your life and then whatever ends and then they go and hang out with people that they know, like they connect to people who hate you. Oh, J Jazz, I have no idea. I don't know. And if you find out, don't tell me because I don't care. <laughs> um, Hi, Chica. Continue. Okay, let's do makeup. I'm trying to think of like a like an everyday like glowy foundation, but not like foundation. Oh, this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, I need to call Claudia because I was gonna give her one of my um, NARS foundations because NARS is one of the brands that I, that we carry, and I don't have it in her color, but I have a budget Charlotte foundation. Um, let's use this one. Hold on, let me think of. Oh, you know what? Let's use this one. This one's very light and glowy. I never really liked it. Like, this is one of the the, the TT fails that, like, everybody was like, yeah, it's so good. Oh, my God, amazing. And then I tried it, and I was like, mm, maybe I'm broken. Maybe it's me. I love watching you, yes. Honestly, I just got to gotta defend myself, you guys. Here's, what, here's the thing is, I never did because I wasn't right. Like, I didn't have... Oh, yes, yes, girl. Yes, I'm actually going to need to call her because she's going through some stuff right now and I just want to send her, like, my good vibes. Absolutely. Girl, I, I like everybody unless you don't like me and then, well, yeah, that's your problem, girl. Okay, that's your problem. If you, if, unless you're making group chats with my actual real-life friends trying to get them to talk about me. Oh, listen to this. Okay, you guys, listen. Let me tell you guys a little chismorito, okay? So there's this person. We're not going to say names. Um, her name is Jan, 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 Jan. Oh, no, wait, that's, um, that's, um, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Okay. We're going to name her Jan Brady. 
always wanted to be a Marsha, but it's always going to be a Jan, you know? And, and, um, where are we going? And, uh, you know, she's a smart woman and she knows people, you know? And she reached out to my friends and like, hey, can you help me find a plumber? Okay, not a plumber, okay, but we're saying plumber, so you get the idea, right? And then my friend's like, oh, sure, let me ask my daughter. She's a plumber. And then, you know, her, her daughter, her she's too busy being a plumber. She can't, you know, she's like, well, let me see if I can refer you to another plumber. She's like, yeah, because my plumber that I'm currently using is in a little bit of TikTok drama because um, she's falsely striking other people's uh, uh um, and I don't know this. I'm just seeing stuff. Okay. So I'm just saying the, the word on the street. Yes. Lloyd, you know me from Lloyd Center, Longcomb. Oh my gosh. That is so long ago. We're going for like a banana look. Okay. And so my friend's like, um, oh, look, um, so-and-so referred me to this plumber. Just let them know that we referred you. Okay, perfect. Oh, by the way, I'm going to go against the other, somebody, okay, hold on. I have to, I have to make this. I'm going to use my plum, that, pl I'm going to also, hmm, I'm trying not to give too much information because I got to protect myself, y'all. I got millions of dollars to protect and well maybe not dollars millions of like hmm, there's something i have millions of piojos to protect <laughs> uh oh interrupting your live to report it's hail oh and you guys isn't it weird now like the weather weather was never like this before look there was three weather patterns in oregon before rainy Sunny and cold. Or sunny. Those were the three weather patterns. It's like, what is it going to be today? You know? So then she proceeds to say, oh, I'm going to use this plumber to clog up your friend's pipes. Ha 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 ha. But really, she didn't really want to use the plumber. She just wanted um, to be able to say, oh, look, Rosalie's friends are helping me find a plumber to unplumb and uh, to clog up her pipes. You know what I mean? Yes, that part, Ashley. And you know, like, that's fine. But watch your mouth. Oh, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. And that's what happened. True story. True story. True story. True story from the crypts of hell. <laughs> you are. I don't know what you mean. Ingrid. If you want more details, in my bio, there's a link tree. And in that link tree, there's a link that says what's been happening. You know, if you, you don't even have to have two hours. You can kind of skim through it and you'll get the idea. <gasps> really? Four to seven inches? Well, you know, I'm more like an eight inch girl. Like, I feel like eight to ten is good. Anything more than that, duele, you know? And it's hard to move. It's hard to move around. <laughs> Just teasing. I'm just teasing. I'm just in a like honestly, I'm not be in Mamona mode. Mamona mode. Can we call this Mamona mode? No, in Mamona mode. Hello. This is Rosalie in Mamona mode. No, I'm just <laughs> uh oh I remember. Oh well, you know what, friend? It's just life. Honestly, I'm like, why is this always happening to me? Well, girl, because it's me and I do this to myself. Don't blame anybody. It's my fault. Me. Okay. Don't blame her. Don't blame them. It is me. It's a me problem. I stay in situations longer than I need to. Okay. It's here. Let me give you guys advice. So you're never put in my position unless you like drug stuff. <laughs> unless you like to be on top, <laughs> on the bottom, clearly, Rosalie, because you're more of a bottom these days. Like, um, like when people call you to talk margarita margarita i saw your message Estás bien chula. i was gonna respond but hi my friend it's, there's been a lot happening <laughs> it's oh yeah but they just last time i was there there was snow on the mountain is that still um no it's this foundation so i bought this color and it's too yellow and I bought this color and it's too yellow and the color below it is too white and I'm like 
but it's like a tint. It's called the 24 hour skin tint. Look, it's like tinted windows and the police is going to fall. Um... Oh no, I don't go live with anybody, girl. I want to go live with me and my five personalities. And once in a while you might like see some friends that like locally live around here and that know me, but like, you're not going to see me nowhere else, girl. Like I can afford, like my mental health is holding on by a thread. My fake mental health is holding on by a thread. And I'm holding on to that thread, girl. We cannot let go of it. Oh, yes. I Actually, I need a messenger. Thank you for reminding me. I need a messenger. I do know she's good, but, like, I know she's going through stuff. But it actually looks pretty, right? I don't go live with anybody, girl. I go live by myself. Sometimes my kids will pop in. Sometimes one of my other personalities will pop in and that's as, that's as much as you're going to get here, okay? And if I'm enough, then stay. And if I'm not enough, well, I'll gain some weight and then I'll be double size and be like, ¿Ya te llenaste o no? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm like, I'm holding on to these threads, girl. They're barely holding on. I did. I did. We did hear it. Thank you for the roses. Um, I, we did hear about Selma and actually we had our moment of silence. So if tonight, before you go to bed, say a little prayer for her family, honestly, for her mom, <laughs> my mom heart just breaks for her mom. Okay. Um, we're going to use a light concealer. So we're going to use the Koja, 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 La Caja. We, yes, we'll pray for you, friend. Good sheer foundation, like a tinted moisture recommendation. Please, uh, this one's good if you could find a match. It's just hard to match. It's the Super Stay 24 hour tint. Like, it's a tint. I'm not wearing like a full coverage foundation. Yes. Where's your sweatshirt from? Oh, friend, from a garage sale. It's, did, I didn't wash it before I put it on and I'm itching and I feel like something's crawling on me. What do you think it is? No, I'm just joking. It's not from a garage sale. My friend gave it to me uh, like a year ago. All right, we're going to go under the eye like this, and we're going to put a little bit of concealer. This is a little bit of a lighter concealer, and we're going to use this to lighten the mood. For puffy eyes, um, anything that has, like, a hyaluronic acid or anything that's, like, very, like, like gel-like, it'll, it will um, push out that. Oh, girl, I love garage sales. Are we going to go garage selling this summer? I want to know. I want to know. I mean, like, honestly, why would I need to go live with anybody else? I have you guys. You guys are the best. Me encanta ver. Oh, thank you, beautiful. Back them curtain. I, uh, I honestly, I, I regret. Honestly, you guys, I regret staying quiet. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. One of my biggest regrets of life, and I'm going to have to live with it, and I'm not going to talk about it now because there's no point. Like, if I didn't talk about it then, I don't need to talk about it now. But my biggest regret is not defending myself. It's my job. Not your job. Not anyone else's job. It is my job, Rosalie Delgado, to defend myself. And I didn't. And I regret it. I regret it. Because I could have. And, 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 like, honestly, like, I've defended myself and with receipts. And people still don't believe me. So it doesn't matter. But it would have felt good, you know? It would have felt good. <laughs> Then shut it. No, you shut it. This is my page. You don't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. You're only my dad, Sancha. <laughs> uh, well, which one is it, girl? Who? Oh, Salma, Tammy. Yeah, she did. Yeah, Nicole, she did. It was confirmed. Are we tocayas? Rebecca. Only by marriage. Only by D. <laughs> Rebecca Delgado. She did. Selma did. No, 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 no. Actually, no. Not one of my biggest regrets. Uh, no. Actually, let me fix that statement, okay? Because I get I get to fix the statements, okay? Um, I think yesterday or the day before. I'm not sure because people have been commenting that for a couple of days. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. But it, it has been confirmed. My biggest regret is um, not just sticking to myself. I honestly feel like I shouldn't, like, it's hard because, like, you know, when people are, like, reaching out to you and inviting you to birthday parties and wanting to hang out, you get, like, excited. Like, especially a girl like me that never really had that 
it was always just me and I always had to like take care of my my like I never got to go to skate palace and like skate around with the cholitos I never got to have sleepovers because you know my dad said that maybe the tío or the primo or hasta el hermano or like the neighbor or something me iba a meter el dedo like I never got to do any of that and not even knowing that the person doing it to me was in the family not my dad you guys it was a, an uncle but like you know what I mean she did it yes she did she did pass El diablo nunca duerme, for real. And I was like, look. The, sometimes the danger's at home. Yes, at for sure, at peace. Yes, she did. I wouldn't make that up. Like, I wouldn't even bring it up if I hadn't confirmed it. Yeah. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, <gasps> Devon, did you close your eyes every time I came on? It's nowhere on the internet. Oh, girl, I don't know what internet you're on. Maybe you're on, um, maybe you're on a different VPN. But the internet that I'm on, it's there. Yo cuido mucho a mis kids hasta de la familia. For real, do. She, yeah. Uh, I love you. No, I love you. How much, girl? You've been gone clearly. No, I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. Look, girl, life happens. You you pop in when you can, even if it's once a year. Yeah, she really did. A young, yeah, she was a young uh, influencer that um, would do makeup and little lives. And she, when she was five years old, uh, she had an accident in a swimming pool. It's not on her Instagram. Well, it's on all over her Facebook, and um, it's been confirmed. So it has been. Oh no, we're talking about. Uh, Slay with Selma, not not Selma Blair. I, I don't, girl, I don't even know. I don't keep up with actresses, girl. Those are rich people problems, and I stay over here with the poor people problems. Like, yo no sé nada, okay? I, I do like me a little Cat Willy because, uh, let me tell you, uh, look, my new idol for 2024 is Cat Willy, okay? I'm trying to be like Cat. I'm trying to talk like Cat. I'm trying to have that Cat energy. Not the actress, the makeup, the little, yeah, the makeup person. Me encanta ver tus videos. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Okay. So, I mean, I don't think it looks bad. It's a little yellow, but I think I was able to neutralize it enough. Now let's put a little bit of setting powder over it. I'm just going to do a light setting powder because, again, we're trying to, like, keep that, like, light skin. Um, I'm going to use... Not use. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to use. We're using. <laughs> He's a user. I knew it. <laughs> we're going to use the, the Laura Mercier... Um, the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder in number two. She just, yes. The, oh, I got to this. Oh, I thought she, you meant cat. I did. I did. I did meet that cat. Oh, girl. Yeah, I did hear about it. But, girl, it's been the same thing. And all of it's true because I witnessed it with all my, my two eyes. And I, I'm separate from that. Like, I don't get involved in that stuff, girl. Por eso, I'm not there. That's why I'm right here by myself. Rosalie, table of three because I have three personalities. Um, everybody's thinking, I know, me starting rumors. <laughs> Today on the internet, Rosalie started a rumor. She, uh, she had an accident when she, oh, look at that. Oh, that looks so pretty. Um, she had an accident when she was a little girl in the swimming pool and she had been waiting for a transplant and it just, her body didn't let her, her body. It wasn't her spirit girl. That girl had spirit. Like, on your worst day, that girl had spirit. Like, yeah. I'm doing good, Ada. Ada Madrina. I'm like, ¿Dónde está mi regalo? <laughs> yeah. Don't be starting rumors. I know Selma Blair's gonna block me. I'm like, I love your movies. What movie was she in? Wasn't she in that movie where like the two, the th the teenager movie and like um, Cruel Intentions? Rosalie, I don't talk to anybody, Stephanie. Nobody. I'm honestly, I just talk to myself, and then I answer too. So, um, and usually my kids ignore me, so it's constantly just me talking to myself. Cruel Intentions. Now I'm gonna watch it. She's like the ex girl is it though 
Your dad caught you with the chola makeup. Did he make you wash it off? My dad would literally... Obrina, yes, Obrina. Hi, Obrina. Obrina, you know what? I just saw your message during Christmas. I wasn't even looking at them. I am so sorry. I hope you're in a better place. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I do interrupt myself sometimes. And sometimes I speak over myself. That's the real... That'd be triggering me. I'm like, let me finish. No, you finish. No, you finish. I'm like... That's it. I'm not talking to any of you. <laughs> and then I just sit like this. I can never get a word in with her. <laughs> she always interrupts me. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, look, I don't need nobody around. I'd be entertaining myself. I just had a whole conversation with myself and I'm mad at me now. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm mad at myself and I'm blocking me. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, guys. Somebody take me somewhere that's not here <laughs> all right we're gonna grab a little bit of light powder to lighten under the eyes okay and then we're going to hey girl d thank you for your message d so we should we we're not going to name the personalities because they all be fighting over the same name rosalie one's rosalie one's hosalie and the other one's rosalies which one are you talking to now <laughs> and you went out. louder milk i'm glad to see you're back in good spirits i loved your oh girl thank you girl look spirits is all we have okay and sometimes the spirits scare you and then you're like oh you know <laughs> mikey mikey um i don't you you were around those facebook days um slay with selma passed a couple like yesterday or the day before Go to Vegas on the weekend of the 27th. Let's have fun. Ugh. Let me ask my other amigas, my personalities, if they're available. Because one be making plans and the other one be canceling them. <laughs> I live in Oregon, yes. Oh, girl, did I hear about them? Yes, I did, girl. I'd be watching the Flores Report. If you guys want to know more cheese, watch the Flores Report. Also, you guys, I have to make a public apology to um, Danny Flores because when all this stuff was going down, people were, like, reaching out to me and being like, what happened? And I wasn't reaching out to nobody, okay? Nobody's going to be like, people are like, is it this person? Is it that person? What's going on? And I was like... Yes, and then, you know, like, other people and employee. Everybody was just reaching out to me. I was getting things from here. And, like, some people were like, oh, she's making me this and then that. And I misspoke, and I said that he said something that he didn't say. But he did say something else to me, but it wasn't that. And I apologized to him. I fixed it. and But the, the original content was said. It just wasn't said by him, okay? If you want to know more, sign up for my corn. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. And so Stacy. Oh, Stacy, me manda la rosa porque ando rosada. Do you know what rosada means? It's when it hurts. <laughs> when it hurts. And you're like, oh, why does it sting? No. <laughs> April. Have you heard about the Ruby Rose cake. Ruby Rose. Oh, Gypsy Rose. I'm like, there's a new rose? I thought I was the only rose. <laughs> I thought that was only Rosada. <laughs> oh, God. I'm serious about Vegas. I am. I have reservations at Hell's Kitchen. Do they take EBT? Because I'm a little short on cash. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to lie, y'all. Okay, so when the pa the pan dulce started, I was like, what is this card that I'm getting? Because back then, Julian was in high school and so was Fabian. And I was like, I can't, I don't, I don't qualify for this girl. I don't even qualify for a freaking government cheese. Okay, what is this? <laughs> and then, um, oh, the, oh my gosh, my, why are you guys, are you guys seeing comments on TikTok? I, literally, my comments stopped. Hold on. I saw somebody say, hi, girl, and then no comments after that. If you're commenting over here, send a little heart. 
PBT. Okay, so I got a comment. I thought we were broken. <laughs> I need to sis. Oh, hi, Glamzilla. I see you guys commenting to her. I didn't see her comment. Government cheese. <laughs> I didn't even qualify for that girl and that government peanut butter my friend had it and that government peanut butter made the best peanut butter cookies me and my friend Tonya her name wasn't Tonya it was Tonya she was really cute too we were only in middle school and she had a cute little figure all the boys thought she was cute and she had nice boobies and I was like I want to be a Tonya not a Rosalie <laughs> and um we were making peanut butter cookies and I was like opening the government peanut butter because you know you needed a can opener and I was like opening the government cookie, the government peanut butter. And I was like, ooh, you get peanut, this is a cool peanut butter. My peanut butter looks different. It has like a top and it, it says Jiffy, or it didn't say Jiffy. It was the one with the little honeybee that had honey, peanut butter, smooth and creamy. And she was like, um, she was like, yeah, my mom got that one. And I was like, that's cool. And she's like, let's make peanut butter cookies. My mom's going to be home from work soon and we can surprise her. And I was like, sounds great. So we're like opening it. And then like, there was a little piece left and I'm like trying to get it off and it wasn't. And my very smart, it was one of my other personalities. It definitely wasn't this one thought, Oh, grab it. Like, so you know how like when the lid grab, like, okay, this, okay, this is it. Okay. This is the can. Okay. And I was trying to get it to separate. I was like, separate. <laughs> go away <laughs> and then the freaking the thing went like i went like this to pull it up girl tell me why the lid stayed but my fingers did it look right here if you guys no, don't call me a mentiros rosalie okay let me clean my hands because you guys are going to see the caca stains i forget to wipe sometimes um let me clean them and tell you that i literally have i don't know if you can see this like white scar here and then from here to here like a line across so nobody has this scar because I grabbed it and then all of a sudden I look and my fingers are like my finger was literally like hanging off and I'm like oh that's weird and I was like Tanya I think something's wrong and she's like what and she looks at my whole hands like and she's like put your hand up and I was like <laughs> I swear to god you guys and I'm like my mom's gonna kill me she's gonna kill me I'm not supposed to cut off my fingers you look like E.T. Oh, oh, I love this game. You look like the exorcist. Oh my God, you're next. Go, go, your, your turn, go. All right, I'm, I'm working on my next one. I'm, look, I'm working on my next one. Go, your turn. If you don't go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay, you look like your mom. Ah, that was the bird, the bird, bird. <laughs> oh, bird, oh, Allison, you look like your grandma. <laughs> You're like, don't you ever call me her. <laughs> um. <laughs> Are you calling me an illegal alien? Is what I want to know. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, and that happened. And then... <laughs> Her mom's like, we have to call your mom. And I'm like, no, she's going to whoop my ass. I was more, girl, I was like, let the fingers go. I don't need them. All I, all I wear gloves. <laughs> True story. <gasps> oh, Covina, we don't use the M word. That, my friend, is, no, we're, we're not trying to compliment. We're trying to insult. <laughs> um, I know, I was like, are you trying to call me an illegal alien? Or are you trying to ask me to borrow my phone? <laughs> but don't call, don't call my mom. I was like, let the fingers go. They're not that important. I was like all like, like lightheaded. Well, thank God, because, you know, Ro little Rosalie there, she didn't know where to take me. My mom's at the Caneria. There was no cell phones then, y'all. She's like, what Caneria does your mom work at? I'm like, one of the ones downtown. There's like 20 Canerias downtown. So she took me to the, um, the Clinica Guadalupe. It's it's a clinic for like people get you know the they don't have insurance and you just pay twenty five dollars and they're like are you her daughter and then are you her mom and then she's like no I'm her 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 friend's mom and they're like okay and I'm like my mom's gonna kill me she doesn't have twenty five dollars I literally thought twenty five dollars was broke Mexican yes it was that it was that you know about are you from Salem Oregon. Why do I look so yellow? Okay, can, can, in 2024, can brands stop making Mexican Girl Foundation look like yellow paint? Okay. 
please, because I'm really mad at them. I'd say I'm, I'm going on strike. I'm never wearing makeup again. And that, my friend, is how I lo almost lost my fingers. And honestly, these fingers are really important. They've done a lot for me. And in and, and remembrance of Jaclyn Hill, we're going to use this beautiful Jaclyn Hill palette. When uh, Jaclyn Hill liked me before I was friends with the person that hates her and talks about her every day for 10 years, um, she sent this to me. It was, it was a nice moment. Um... It was weird because I was like, oh, that's weird. All of a sudden, all these people stopped sending me things. That's weird. They must have run out of money. <laughs> no, girl. I know now. It's that skin tint. Girl, it's almost every foundation. Honestly, I'm like almost like, should I just go like, just like make my own foundation? That's it. I'm starting my own brand. <laughs> they be having those there in Texas. Yes, I think. That, oh yeah, the girl, I was like, I literally called the school and I was like, okay, I don't want to get arrested because I don't think I deserve this. And then they're like, oh no, this goes to any school age child and Fabian qualified because of his, him being on the spectrum. Did Jacqueline Hill pass away? Oh no, there's a, the brand, the brand is gone. The brand is gone. Like not her pass away. Oh my gosh, you don't be so friend. Ay Diosito, no. Que no quiera. Pobrecita, she's young, you know? I mean, that it, young doesn't mean anything, but, you know, she's, she, I think she's, she's lost weight. Like, she's thriving right now. I mean, she did close all her brands, but she's doing good, you know? Do it. Make your own foundations. The Twilight palette. Oh, God, I hopefully get it. I'll be like, I don't work with that brand anymore. Anybody that hates me. <laughs> they have, some, yeah, girl, get it while you can, because it is gone. Okay, that, like, the, the, that fixed it. And whenever I'm doing no makeup. I literally just wake up and go. But when I'm pretending to do no makeup, I put on some. T -t -t. I, I actually hope I get it. And if not, I'm going to order it. I always like to wait because sometimes I like order it because I'm like, I'm not going to get it. And then I'll get like a big box in the mail and I'll be like, oh, there it is. Makes you look pink. I'd rather look honestly pink than like Oompa Loompa. I don't want a little girl named Violet to be like, but daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa now. And I'm like, is she talking to me? <laughs> I'm like, I shouldn't have worn overalls today. <laughs> I shouldn't have worn overalls today. Damn it. <laughs> and horizontal stripes never work for me. <laughs> My eyebrows are perfect. Well, thank you. Also me in the morning. Sin pelo. <laughs> All right. We're going to put on a little uh, mascara. I kind of feel bad because I didn't see Glamzilla's comment. And I, I don't want her to be like, oh, that bitch ignored me. But I probably, look, girl, I ignore myself. So, gonna win that ignoring other people. <laughs> Loopy, thank you for the rosadas. Allison looks like the girl from Scooby-Doo. Who is Oompa Loompa? You don't know what a cupcake. You don't know what an Oompa Loompa is? Do you guys hear that? She doesn't know what Oompa Loompa is. Oompa Loompa doo -de doo I got another question for you. Do you make friends that are toxic? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Oompa Loompa doo -de doo <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm stealing your sweater. Oh, please, friend, it's hot. Like, my armpits are sweating. I'm sure I have boob sweat. This, this, I'm getting a tummy tug, so I have to start getting used to wearing these damn waist trainers. And this one's tighter than freaking my bank account. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm probably toxic too. Come on, you guys. Oh, girl, look, let me tell you, there's something about me. I swear, I'm like toxic pheromones. Like, ooh, I like the way she smells. <laughs> They could smell the, they could smell the nice in me. Like, we like dogs, like, they could smell your fear. <laughs> that's me. That's me. I have to laugh, y'all, so I don't hate myself. <laughs> that's a negative. That's a negative. <laughs> How much weight have you lost? Oh, girl, like, um, I weigh 147 pounds and I don't like it. I, I, my perfect weight. Cause I'm five five, girl. Five five, brown eyes, cuerpo like a pencil, you know. Um, 
that's a song from the 90s but it was a, it was five five brown eyes smile like the sunshine but i don't got a cute smile and or a cute cuerpo so i can't really say anything like personality like a clown you know um yeah that's i've lost a lot of weight and i've kept it off for two years and i did it by just like portion control and like you know limiting my my carb intake no i don't limit anything honestly friend look best tip is give yourself everything you want because when you fuck when you, you when you take it away is when you want it more it's like d like i'm taking it away i'm like i want it when it's around i'm like i'm tired babe leave me alone it's like, I'm that. i got my period you know did you have weight loss surgery oh girl not yet well not it's not gonna be weight loss surgery it's gonna be skin loss surgery city high Ooh you know me lucy okay let's put on some mascara we're gonna just put on a little light touch of mascara me going in with my mexico mascara we're gonna try this mexico mascara no i didn't have weight loss surgery friend honestly i just like detox like like i would detox one month take two months off detox one month take two months off detox one month take two now i just detox twice a year and sometimes i'll do like half a detox because i'm bloated you know um not more negative comment well friend look it's not negative comments look friend okay I love you guys and I know you guys love me and I are you still are you are you still going to the everyday friend I just forget to take a selfie because I see all the girls with the big culo and they're like all in the in the picture and they're like oh, and I'm like in there and I'm like oh shit what happened and me da vergüenza you know it, something happened I don't want to talk about it it's traumatic I'm just like what um so I forget to take my workout selfie now but I still go every day what do you mean by detox? So it's a detox. Uh, one of my good friends introduced me to. It's from Vietnam. Um, it's imported, and you just take it. It actually it doesn't make you or or like that. It doesn't do that. What it does is it literally just makes you super thirsty. It takes away your complete appetite. Like you're like, uh, did I eat today? Which is important to eat. Do not miss a meal. It's fundamental. And then um, all of a sudden, one day you're like, oh my gosh, did I teach myself how to be a healthy, clean eater? It's weird. Literally, it's the best thing that's ever happened in my life. Okay. But it's literally super hard to import and get before my friend and I, we would get like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bottles. Like we'd be able to get it. And then after the pan dulce, um, after the pan dulce, uh, it just got harder and harder because import costs are high. Everything's high, girl. Todo. Uh, did you, have you bought groceries? I'm like, honestly, at this point, my detox is saving money and not eating because groceries are so expensive. Do I still do my nails? I do. I just got some new nail stuff. Hold on, let's finish this natural, no makeup, makeup. You coming to Chicago, girl, I'm... I should. I, you know what? I'm scared, you guys. Can I tell you guys the truth? My biggest fear, like, honestly, it doesn't have a name. It's literally called detox. I'm, I, people think I'm, like, over here gatekeeping. The only reason I gatekeep is because one time I told somebody what it was called, and I showed them the bottle, and they went on eBay and ordered something from, like, some random person, and then they're like, Rosalie, I bought the thing that you use, and it, like, made me sick. Like, I felt really awful, and I'm like, you did? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, show me what you bought. And then she's like, she showed me. And I was like, oh, girl, where did you get that? And she's like, on eBay, I just typed it up on Google. I just Googled it and it popped up on eBay. So I bought it. It was literally like 30 bucks. And yours is like 97. So I saved money. And I was like, girl, you better stop taking that. Because my pills are not white on the inside. Uh, my little gel capsules are literally look like little pieces of tea. <laughs> I'm like, there's no white powder in there, girl. I think you... I think you ordered the wrong thing. <laughs> you need a refund. <laughs> and that's actually why me and my friends started being able to import it for ourselves, but it just got really hard. My D's on, yeah, don't eat groceries, girl. Save your money. It's expensive. Unless you got the P-E-B-T, then eat, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. I know I was like, uh, I don't know what that is, friend. I don't feel like, she's like, do you feel dizzy and lightheaded and like you're going to vomit? I'm like, no. Like, I, I had been, like, shaky a couple times because I didn't drink enough water. <laughs> and I was like, uh, and then I, I messaged my friend. And I was like, I mean, is there any way that, like, the person that we buy it from can, like, 
help us like get it because I feel really uncomfortable. Like people are asking me, I don't want to be one of those girls that's like, it's a secret product, you know, but I also don't want to be like, it's this. And then they go find it in like some wedding, you know? I know. I'm like, uh, girl, I don't, she's like, it, yeah, it got shit from me at all. But I'm like, oh, girl, <laughs> it's a, uh, you, it, you could get it either or, um, but I like the capsule because I hate the way the tea tastes. Like the tea is not, it doesn't taste good. And the capsule, plus I see you swallow and I'm good at swallowing. Uh, oh gosh, let me put on my makeup and sing a little prayer for you. I haven't seen you in forever. Debbie, are you closing your eyes? Let me know. I've been here, friend. I've been here waiting. I was like, when is, De when is Debbie coming? And nunca, nunca viniste, friend. Christina, hello, kitty pin on your head. Oh, you like it? I have one on the back of my head, too. I'm going to put one on the tip of Jose's head. Did you ever meet her? I did not. I did not. I did not get that pleasure. Honestly, I'm glad because she's a young girl and no young girl needs to be around me. I'm a bad influence. Okay. Is that okay? You know what? I actually don't feel safe because of that. Because then, y si ordenas algo mal, friend? Y si ordenas algo mal y te me mueres? I'm going to have one less follower and I cannot afford to lose anymore. Do I not like... I don't... Honestly, I don't like her, to be honest. I mean, I don't dislike anybody. I don't want to be fake. You know what? 2024, Rosalie is going to say, no, I don't. I don't like her. I don't want anything to do with her. Um, when everything went down, I got voice recordings of her laughing at my mental health and saying that I was faking it and that I was crazy and that everybody was laughing at me. Yeah, I, I want nothing to do with that person, especially somebody that t uh, wants to be like... Uh, uh, girl's girl and like girl like help and like teams win no like that shit's not real i'm sorry no i don't like her i don't like her i don't want to like her i don't want to know about her i don't like lola morales because her name is not B boyce or bryce or whatever it is i don't want to be fake i, I really want to be like this year i just want to be me if you like me pues aquí estoy. and if not pues i'm still here <laughs> What's the best brand to use for makeup? Every brand that works for you, friend. Whatever you can afford, honestly. And and honestly, do what you want. Don't listen to nobody, girl, because I'd be buying all the things that everybody be like, this is amazing. And I'm like, like, I bought this. This was recommended to me. This grippy primer. It literally felt like I put slime on my face and it was slippery. I'm like, what in the olive oil is this? You know, like, I'm done. I'm not ordering anything that anybody else recommends. <laughs> I, I think for so long, I was afraid to like upset everybody and I still upset everybody. So now I'm just going to upset everybody. <laughs> Some there you go, girl, you would use what works for you or what works for your budget. I love who you are. Well, you know, friend, if you don't, I'm still going to be me. <laughs> I'm like, even if you don't like who I am, but I still have to be me. <laughs> Thank you, Margarita. You're so pretty, Margarita. Vi tus fotos. Quiero que sepas. Quiero que sepas que I was seeing your pictures. Oh, the Catrice Concealer, Debbie. Let me tell you something about the Catrice Concealer. Let me tell you something about the Catrice Concealer. I don't have any. That's what I want to tell you. No, I'm joking. I have two. These are my last two backups. I keep them in the back of my drawer because I'm afraid to lose them, including and back there with my mental health because I'm afraid to lose that too. You got to keep it in a nice, cool, dark spot so it doesn't get lost or say up a lead, you know? This concealer conceals. And I need to start using it because honestly, yes, I expira como my mental health too. So yeah, that's great. <laughs> the fake mental health that everybody says it's fake. And I'm like, have you watched one of my videos? There has to be something wrong with me. This can't be normal. <laughs> I think they missed it when you said, I'm pretty good at, <laughs> what is the name of the lip plumper? It's called um, Polite Society. Uh, that's the brand, Polite Society Big Mouth. Um, okay, uh, that's the concealer. I'm actually going to put it in my makeup drawer. Girl, if you, if you, you don't know, do you, if you know, you know. I have an actual problem, you guys, and this is literally, I'm not joking. I know you guys are used to me joking, but I'm actually being being vulnerable. I call it homeable. It's when a hoe is a vulnerable. Um, when I fall in love with something, I have to buy like 10 of them because I am completely and utterly terrified of it being discontinued and not being able to find it. Um, 
for example, the Clinique Fit Mascara, the workout mascara or the fit mascara. I don't know what, okay. But it was the best mascara ever. It stayed on forever. Like it was like the best. And I never bought another one. Okay. And I regretted it. I should have gone back and bought three. My heart told me, but I didn't, they were $20. And I was like, I don't got $60. Well, I do, but I don't want to spend them on that. I'd rather buy snacks. Y por eso estaba gorda. So I should have bought the freaking mascara. I wouldn't have gained five pounds and I would have had beautiful long wearing lashes. You got mascara on your forehead. Well, friend, you know what? I also might have a little piojito in there because I did spend the night at the piojo house a couple times. Well, just one time, but it was a multiple nights. Same here. If I love it, I buy multiple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did spend the night at the piojo house, friend. I did. I, I, I did stay there twice. Two nights. Just one time, but I was there two nights, so it's twice. Mm -hmm. If you do the math. I live in Salem. When we meet up, look, friend, last time I got meet up, I had bruises on my face. So as long as that's not the kind of meet up here I'm signing up for, let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, lips, lips, and go. My husband got home, and you know what happens when he's been gone. Oh, I haven't even had my dulcecito. They were like, what? This is natural? It really is, Fred. It really is. I'm just like in a, mm, like, are you going to be sad girl or happy girl or like in the middle? And I'm in the middle. <laughs> But what? I did get more coconut milk. What a great question. Next question that doesn't involve other people. Because even though I'm in my answering questions era, I'm really tired. And my, pre my, my attorney's not present. <laughs> Okay, we gotta put on some lipstick. That's it. Where's my dulce? I need it. I'm going to bed. This is not it. This is not it. She quit. This is my two week notice that I'm coming back and I'm never leaving. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I, 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 I'm just like answering questions, honestly. So I don't, and forever, I will. And I'm, I have a right to my opinion. Can, can I figure out how you make your pink drink? Yes. So what I do, and this is like, this, this pink drink has like 15 calories, okay? So what I do is, I put some ice in a cup. I put a little bit of um, coconut flavoring, the Tarani sugar-free coconut. I put a little bit of strawberry puree. That's the only thing that has sugar. I just put a little squirtle in there. It might be like 30, 30 calories. And then I put um, a little splash of coconut milk, just a splash, you know, just to make it look cute. And then I put a little bit of, um, that's it. And then I mix it. But the, the, the sparkling water is the toasted coconut one with the little periquito. Not the perico, girl. Not, not the pure house and the perico. <laughs> the little periquito on the, on the picture. It's called toasted coconut. How long does uh, makeup last when it expires? So on here, there's a little, there's a little jar right here. Valerie! I should do one, Ada. I said I was going to do one. And then, like, instead, I found out that somebody, a brand, a professional brand, a, a, a national brand um, owner was um, trying to talk about me behind my back to my own friends. <laughs> and then that kind of changed my mood. So I didn't do it. But I should do one. Um, there's a little jar right here. Okay, hold on. Wait, let me... Let me clean the jar. Okay, if I see me as a jar, todo mugroso. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where is the jar? I promise, it's not in my imagination. There's a lot of things in there, but not that. Okay, there's a little jar right there. This one says 18 months. Once you open it, the day that you open it for the first time, it's kind of like the day that you get deflowered. That's when the expiration date starts. And this, after that date, is good for 18 months. Usually what I used to do when I was like, organized and like professional and my kit that's right here yeah a la basura friend that kit right there this flipping kit this ten thousand twenty thousand i don't even know thousands of dollars worth of makeup kit that i no longer use because i'm no longer able to go to strangers houses and do their makeup because of my trauma where was i going with this oh i used to write the actual day that i opened it on the like with the like a marker <laughs> 
like, oh, I thought this was going to be more intense. This kit right here, I used to like write all down. Yeah. 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 So I used to like literally be like, I opened this on 11, 11, 11. And then I knew when. I'll keep it. Oh, friend. I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't go to strangers' houses. Like, how do I know who's hiring me, girl? Last time I showed up somewhere strange, I ended up with literally concussions. Like, I, my, like, I literally, you guys cannot be, I can't go to bars, I can't go to dark places. Like, my anxiety is up here. Like, who's around? And it's not that I'm scared, it's just anxiety. Like, I still try. The skin tint's good, the color is bad. Do the hair drops work? Because they, they, they did it for me. They did for me. They really did for me. Like, I have nothing bad to say about the brand uh, because the brand worked. And what an insult to you guys who spent your hard-earned money. I have nothing bad to say about the brand. But the owner, what do you want to hear first? <laughs> There's a two-hour video if you want to watch it. I'm so sorry, love. Yeah, it sucks. But I do for, like, friends and family that I already know. Um, I just, like... I don't know who's hiring me. Like, I don't know the person. Like, it could be anybody. Like, this world is no longer what it used to be. Does she really smell? No, she doesn't smell. Like, girl, I'm not going to be that girl that's like, oh, I don't like her anymore. Yeah, she smells. No, she doesn't smell. She doesn't smell. She was a great friend to me when she was a great friend until she wasn't. And, like, I'm not going to be here and be, like, fake and be like, yeah, she's awful. She smells and she doesn't shower. No, girl, she doesn't, okay? She smells great and she's clean and she bathes and all of that. Like, I I just, I never want to be that girl that, like, oh, her blah, blah, blah. No, girl, like, no. I mean, sometimes we all smell. I might smell right now. Honestly, I think I probably smell more than her right now. I'm a Vegas, I'm a Vegas survivor. I know about anxiety. <laughs> you never feel safe again, you guys. You never feel safe again. Like, it, like when, when things like that happen to you, they rob you of just the most common feeling of just feeling like you could possibly be safe. Does that plumper really work? <laughs> Should we plump again? Let's see. Maybe I won't do, I'll just do lip oil. You're so funny. You know what? I, I deal with a lot of my pain through through comedy. It just makes me feel better. And like, I know people are like, don't make fun of your body. Girl, look, okay. I'm not making fun of my body. I know my body. I know que no tengo culo, friend. But you know what? I have a good heart. And I would rather have a, you cannot get a, a good heart BBL, okay? Like they can't inject goodness into your heart <laughs> to make it extra, you know, like, let me, my, my heart's going to twerk. No, like I... Like, I know, like when people are like, oh, you don't have an ass. Well, I mean, I have one, but it's like not big. Like, it's just little, you know, she's like, she's in her little era. Like, she's working. Like, we're doing squats. <laughs> My life has changed forever. Yeah. Yeah. Hope. Yeah. Yep. And then I couldn't go to bars anymore. And then I wasn't any fun anymore. And so then everybody was like... She's out. <laughs> She's not cool anymore. She can't sit with us. <laughs> and that's fine because honestly, like, it, it was for the best for all of us. Not the heart twerking. I was like, tar, 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 pop, pop, pop. they're like, damn, that heart be twerking. Look at Debbie and that girl's heart. She twerking. <laughs> um, so this is my little, like, honestly, this is the kind of makeup that I would wear to, like, pretend that I, like, get ready with me to pretend like I get ready every day. That's what I would do with this makeup. Thanks to medical. This lady should thank medical for her weight loss. Medical what? I should, who me? I should thank medical for my weight loss? Medical ain't never giving me nothing, girl. Like medical? Like, are you saying I got OHP or what? <laughs> I ain't got that either. I'm like, why? Do I, you think I qualify? <laughs> um, You look cute with a little makeup. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. It, it's me, you guys. I ha I'm the issue. There's something about there's something wrong with me. Hi, Rodney. Um, no, not you. I'm like, you think I got medical? I'm like, no, girl. I still got I gotta pay a copay and I have to pay like I signed up on the marketplace this year and I gotta pay $374. And they were trying to give me a tax credit, but girl, last time I got a tax credit, I had to pay it all back. 
I was like, don't give me credit, girl, because I don't want to pay back. <laughs> You're not the issue. No, I am the issue, guys. No, I'm 100% the issue. You know what? I am. And do not take that away from me because I have to understand what it is about me that allows certain behaviors and certain things and I ignore things and I contribute to things. I like I have to like it is me. On marketplace? What? What? Me? Am I on marketplace? Oh, look, I got a little beautiful. I shouldn't have spent the night there. <laughs> no. Um, you're beautiful, mama. I honestly, I, my husband has made me feel like, hey, look, my husband in la noche, he be grabbing me like, like this. And I'm like, babe, I'm like right here. <laughs> um, thank you for your account. I have to be accountable. <laughs> look, girl, I'm not the victim, okay? I sat around and I ate at tables that I didn't need to be eating at, okay? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> How did you keep the weight off? Do you, do you eat? <laughs> Girl, I hope so. I'm like, uh, do you see me cooking? <laughs> I'm like, do I eat? Yes, I eat. I just limit myself and I take edibles and I be snacking too. But I just like, hey, Rosalie, like, do you want to be like this or do you want like, it's all choices. You know, you have to hold yourself accountable. Like, who is the piojos? Me, I am. <laughs> um... You are worthy of respect, and I pray you find your strength and stand for yourself more. Oh, this year, girl, you call, you knock, like, is Rosalie home? And like, hi, my name is Rosalie. I'm here. Do you have a question? Like, I have to. I have to because I literally hate myself when I don't defend myself. I literally get angry with myself. There's a new Mean Girls movie. Girl, yeah, I know. It's 2023 Rosalie's, uh, 2022 Rosalie's life. <laughs> yes, I know, girl. What, did they record that too? No, I'm joking. I would always on Facebook and loved your stories. How are you and your son? My son's great. Fabian had back surgery this last summer and he recovered beautifully. He'll probably have to have another surgery at some point in his life. Um, Jose's, you know, still big and still throbbing. I <laughs> know I'm joking. And Julian's actually going to college, has a full-time job and is doing electrician apprenticeship. So my family's doing great. I feel blessed. I feel happy. Um, I think my turning point was when my son came to me. I'm going to get him. I'm getting emotional. That's when a hoe gets emotional. Um, when my son came to me and told me that he seen me like fall was making him fall you know and we made our him and i that day and jose we sat fabian now nah, fabian y'all fabian's like uh do you want to watch roblox or do you want to watch youtube you know fabian's in his own world girl sometimes i'm like fabian can i come in and he's like no it's mine and he locks it you know like but um when my oldest son told me that he didn't want to, oh actually i walked into his room this is such a sad story and i've never told it And he's okay with it because I had asked him before. He's like, yeah, mom, you can tell my story. He'll come in here and tell you guys stories sometimes, like right there. He'll stand right here and tell me like blah 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 and blee blee blee. Um um he um I went in his room and he had a book on his bed. And it was a self-help book about um unaliving yourself and like how to get through that, you know? And, um, it kind of stepped me out of it. You guys, I honestly, I think you've seen that. And I waited till he got off work and I said, Hey brother. Cause I call him brother. If you guys don't know, I call him brother. And he's, I'm me manic. I'm like laughing, crying. <laughs> but this, this really does make me sad. Cause I, I was so uh, caught up in my own pain and my own suffering that I wasn't watching. I, I wasn't able to see the suffering around me. I was so caught up in like masking suffering by like going to parties and hanging out at bars. I don't even drink guys. I don't even drink <laughs> like what the fuck, <laughs> you know? And like, like, you know, and my husband, like, I feel so bad. I feel embarrassed. Honestly, there, there's nobody that I feel more embarrassed with than my husband. Jose is literally like, that's, that's, that's who, that's who I feel embarrassed with because nobody gets the worst of you more than the people that lived under your roof. They saw the most manic me. 
they saw the most depressed me they saw the most angry me people are like oh my god she's so mean to sage girl i was being mean to myself <laughs> like i'm supposed to be nice to everybody and i'm literally destroying myself like i can't be nice to anybody i'm not even being nice to myself i'm not even being nice to my husband i'm not even being nice to my kids like I'm literally self-destructing. Like, of course I'm being mean. Of course I'm being manic. Of course I'm doing all this. Like, I hated myself. Like, I was mad at myself. I was like, what? you know, you should have known better. You shouldn't have gone here. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't be doing, like, it, there was a lot of anger. But I guess, like, when you're in that, you're, like, kind of stuck in your own world. And you're not able to see how your mental health is affecting the people around you. I mean, there were nights that my that I would just get so... I couldn't even take the anxiety that I felt like I just wanted to run down the street screaming. And I'd get in my car and I'd just get so freaking mad and I would drive off and I would park and I would just sit in my car and I would be literally thinking of like, like I could literally just drive until the gas runs out and just sit there and just like never move again. Like there were just thoughts that were going through my head that I was like, whoa, you know? And um, I think that when I saw that book on my son's um, bed, I, I took a picture of it and I sent it to my sister and my little, my brother, my little brother, Chui, and my other brother. But my other brother, like, you know, he was, he was doing different things, but, um, and I said, what should I do? And they're like, you should talk to him. And I'm like, but I don't deserve to talk to him because I feel like I'm the one that caused this. And they're like, so you guys healed together. And, um, and so, um, he got home from work and I said, Hey brother. And he's like, Hey, like he never looked at me. He was like very angry. And at the time, like he was going through things like as on, on top of watching his mom self-destruct, he was also going through things himself that he wasn't sharing with me. And I said, what's going on? I saw the book that was on your bed and he like grabbed it. And he's like, I just, it's cause I feel sad and I just want to read and I want to know how to feel better. And I'm like, okay. And then he's like. And then he told me that he was he had failed all his college classes because he didn't he didn't he didn't feel the um the um he didn't feel the want to like continue so he didn't feel like he needed to do well in class he's like you're gonna be disappointed in me I failed all my college classes I'm not doing good at work he was he had to quit his job uh he was working at the movie theater a, a job that he loved and he had to quit that job and go work at Panera because he started dating the older supervisor and then the older supervisor ended up sleeping with his best friend so like here's my like 20 year old son 19 year old son at the time um, 18 18 almost 19 year old son and I had no idea you know what a horrible mom I felt like and I was being a bad mom like look here hello Rosalie recovering bad mom because she was so engrossed in her own pain that she didn't see anybody else's and he told me that he no longer felt like the, like he wanted to live and he didn't really feel like he was happy and that that's why he was reading books because he felt like he just needed like to read on how to fix that and so him and I made a promise with Jose and we decided that day that uh, we would both be getting help and um, that was the day that I decided that it did nothing mattered like everything else was outside noise and um, I think I think a lot of people were afraid that like if they didn't make me out to be a liar or to be all these things that I would tell their secrets and then they would look bad. So they needed to destroy my character so that if I said anything about them, then, um, cause I was no longer fun. You guys, I was the sad girl who wants to hang out with a sad girl, raise your hand. <laughs> I'm like, who wants this punishment? Oh my gosh. Four, four, four. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> There's 444 people just watching me over here. And, um, I, um, made him a promise and I said, look, if I'm not, give, I'm not going to give up if you don't give up. And he's like, I'm not going to give up if you don't give up. And we shook hands on it and we signed each other up for things. I told him not to worry about school, that I would help him through it and that he could take a little break just to calm his nerves and that we would focus together on our family healing. And that's when I had to shut everything off and focus on what was happening under this roof and I didn't care like people were like oh she took pictures of this where are the pictures if I took pictures show the pictures show some type of proof I love how everybody's like Rosalie did this have you guys ever seen proof of me doing it because I've done it like girl I've talked shit right like look I feel like that part of Mean Girls but like if you've ever talked about somebody 
you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, we've all done it, girl. You have friends. You don't like people. And you talk about them. Like, come on. Okay? I don't do that anymore. I don't. I don't want to. Because it's just like a waste of time. I'd rather talk about things, productive things now, than negative things. And um, so, um, so I just focused on that. I, my husband and my family, my mom, my sister, my real life friends, you saw them lie with me. Some of you did. Um, the people that stuck around, the people that didn't like think, oh, she's boring now. Oh, she's faking it. When people tell you, how am I supposed to prove that I'm not faking it? Am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to just like, never, you guys, do you know, I'm telling you from somebody that was like at the darkest spot in their life. That when you tell them they're faking it, they feel like they have to prove it. And there's only one way to prove that you're not faking it. So you don't drink. I've never drank. I, I don't drink. I've never drank. I've always, I used to abuse um, THC edibles because I just didn't want to feel. I wanted to feel numb. Now I just take five milligrams to go to bed and it makes me really. But, um, and, it, and for a long time I had to stop that too because I needed to be able to feel. I didn't want to numb. I, a lot of, a lot of times you use things. Some people, you know, drink, some people eat, some people shop, um, some people pick at their face. Some people do a lot of things to try to like almost numb one pain by covering it up with another. And so for me, like the fact that my son is, um, has a girlfriend and they're very happy. Thank you for the star party guys. Thank you. Who was that? Thank you, Josie. Because um, I knew too much, girl. <laughs> I know too much. I know a lot, girls. But it's not... Look, I've just never been that girl. Like, you know? What's the saying? And it's a true saying. When they can no longer control you, they control what other people think of you. That's why. That's it. And it's it's there's a little bit of truth in everything. I mean, you know, like, oh, she talked crap about kids. Well, me to asking somebody's child to not hit me isn't talking crap. It's just saying, hey, can you stop? Like, why are you being mean? <laughs> like, that's a conversation I would have with my kid. Like, you know, like, oh, she's a kid talker. You know, seeing somebody's child that's literally riddled with eczema and bleeding and like blistered on a couch, drinking apple juice and crying under a blanket. And you say, hey, to a friend, like, hey, I'm a little concerned about that child. Um, um, do you think there's something going on with them? Oh, um, they're like, oh, okay, well, no, um, I, I just got a warning because I'm talking about red stuff. Um, and then I was a kid shit talker, you know, um, uh, you know, like there's a little bit of truth, but there's a lot of not truth. And so it's just the way life is, but it's okay. You guys like, like, that's it. Like, I, I cannot be. I can't be mad because I hung out with people and I was okay with shit and then I wasn't, you know? That's it. That's it. So I focused on myself, which is the best thing to do, guys. Like, honestly, like, I do that a lot. I um, I feel like being of service means I'm important. So I over-service. I'm like, what do you need? Oh, you need a bronzer? Oh, girl, I don't have one, but I'll be right back. I'm going to go buy one. Because I feel like if I'm helpful, I'm not dispensable. And it's something I'm working on. It's a me problem. It's nobody else's problem. So that's my truth. Any next question? <laughs> um, and that's it. And y'all, that's a crime. You know, taking pictures of people's body parts is a crime one of all it puts me in a really um dangerous place because i have a child that i need to take care of who's a minor um two it never happened <laughs> it never happened <laughs> um and three like if people just didn't want to be around me they didn't have to destroy me they could have just been like girl i don't want to be around you you're kind of lame you're kind of sad girl vibes and i've been like you're right girl like that's it like i, I i'm not i'm not for the like uh girls destroying girls like we should be helping each other girl if my friend is acting not right and i feel like there's something wrong with her because i was like oh she's faking mental health she's crazy well am i crazy or am i faking girl because it can't be both right and like instead of helping them i'm helping destroy them then 
you know? So, that's it. And this is who I am now. And I feel so much more comfortable, you guys. I, look, I, I, I don't have to worry about anyone but the people that live under this roof. And honestly, like, that's it. That's it. And if you guys are, if people are mad at me or want to hold things against me, then you must be a really innocent person that's never done anything bad in your life. And I wish I could be you, but I'm not. So I'm going to continue to heal and I'm going to continue to grow and I'm going to continue to focus on what matters. And that's anyone that lives under this roof. And honestly, that's it. Yeah. No one is perfect. Exactly. It's it's just really lame that people are like, oh my god, you talked about your friend. Well, first of all, I didn't talk I didn't talk out of hate. I talked out of concern, okay? Because I had concerns about people. Um, and two, like, girl, you never talk look me side eyeing you, me like <laughs> you know, like, come on, come on, come on, girl, come you're over here in my cheese bed. You're already showing me that you're worse than me. <laughs> you know, like like that. <laughs> yeah. And we're never happy. Daisy, I was never happy. I always was like, turn off your phone and do this and make sure nobody's recording and make sure nobody's live. Like, that's it. <laughs> and I'm like, Ugh. you know, like protecting the world and never protecting myself. That's been my problem. Um, Girl, no, that was literally don't say that you miss me seeing me with people like that because that was the worst version of me. That was the most depressing version of me and I reg the biggest regret I, I should have never put myself in places I didn't belong I never fit there it's like you know like the part of Cinderella when like Cinderella is stepsisters and I'm the ugly stepsister yeah girl I'm not saying I'm Cinderella girl like my Cinderella days are coming but they're not here yet <laughs> um where the ugly stepsister I will wants to wear the shoes because she wants to marry the fine prince like I didn't fit in those shoes and I will bitch I was like put, put them shoes on like I want to fit in this role because I've never fit anywhere but I wasn't meant to fit I was meant to stand out that's it so and and scene uh, <laughs> anyways you guys I'm gonna jump off it's 10 30 I want to go to bed with my husband las quiero son unas buenotas mamonas bien chulotas con unas nalgotas and if you're not friend well we're manifesting it um you did look uncomfortable I was always uncomfortable I was always uncomfortable but when you are of service, you feel like when you're when you're always like, like something people will tell you about me is I always was like, what do you need? Oh, you need this? I got it, girl. Hold on. Let me look. Mary Poppins, bitch. I was Mary Poppins. I'm like, oh, you girl, you need a bobby pin? Hold on. I know I got one somewhere. Like that was me. I felt like if I was constantly helping and giving that I wasn't dispensable because my whole life I've been dispensable. So. just like that and just like that all the makeup's gone <laughs> okay you guys my son's here i don't like him to see me cry okay bye let's get him mucho. bye he gets mad when i cry he's like mom stop crying on the internet and i'm like it's my hobby <laughs> bye guys <laughs>